It is fine. <laughs> it, is, it is fine. <laughs> Are we live? We're good to go. Oh, Woohoo! Oh my God! Do Everybody, freak it. out! We're live. Do I put my ear on? Yeah, you can't put your ear on now. All right. Can you hear me? Are yeah. you? Hold on, hold on. Testing one, testing two. I feel like Maverick from Top Gun. Do you? Yeah, but cooler. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Who the fuck is flying this thing? <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the Graybeard Podcast. Thank you for coming in. I just want to take a minute to say thank you for watching and following along this crazy adventure that I'm on. And tonight, I'm talking about some crazy adventures. If you haven't seen her, I've been posting little things here and there about Miss Chris Rulo, a.k.a. Gypsy Soldier. And we talked about it on a couple of other podcasts that she would be coming on. She's had a pretty interesting life let's put it that way and we're gonna we're gonna get into some of that plus some of the stuff she's up to right now and uh we're just gonna have fun we're just gonna talk and have a good time and you get to watch miss chris rulo how are you fantastic i'm trying to figure out what a fist is from this <laughs> like <laughs> supposed to be a, a fist say that in the wrong like, circle so. and <laughs> it's gonna be a different show yeah 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 no yeah. i'm feeling good i'm feeling good good, good i'm good. nervous there's a lot of there's a lot of tech and gear in here yeah so. you make me nervous Woo! <laughs> you make me nervous like you're like a pro oh yeah it's such a pro Woo! Yeah. it's like but anyways yeah <laughs> <laughs> so uh you are a look, look, give me the rundown. I mean, I know photographer, radio personality. Oh dear God! I don't. I don't. Just tell me all the things that you do right now. Well, I'm short. Okay. I, I enjoy uh, walks in the park, and I, <laughs> I like a hammock every now and again. That's kind of cool. Professionally. Perfect. Oh, okay, fine, <laughs> fine. If you want to call it like that. Um, let's see. I uh, I uh, am uh, re- retired. I was medically retired out of the Coast Guard. That was cool. That My was granddad a, was a Coast Guard. Yeah, yeah, that's what's up. Back in WW2. WW2. I think that's, I think he wasn't, I don't know. I never heard it referred to I'm as horrible, that. I'm horrible. He died when I was like 19. <laughs> and I'm old now. So, oh, I'm yeah. sorry. Hey, man. Carry on. We can talk about it. I just totally want. brought the whole room down. <laughs> like, I was trying to get a <laughs> coffee. At least, at least he didn't die in a war. Yeah, that's yeah. true. No, 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 no. Yeah. Uh, many a night's uh, telling me to watch out for that elephant going up underneath his chair. <sighs> and he would fart. Oh, my gosh. Here we go. There we go. There, and it turned. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm just trying to loosen you up a little bit. It turned. Yeah. <laughs> for those who don't know, this is only my second podcast. And uh, I'm real nervous. I'm real nervous, but it's fine. But it's not your first conversation with a person, right? No, it's not my first conversation. Uh, just the only difference is we got these things so, cylindrical <coughs> black phallics in front of our face yes. and millions of people are watching yeah not nice. <laughs> millions of one millions <laughs> i hope it's just like one <laughs> yeah it's probably like at least in a the million moment. minus nine hundred what is it nine hundred thousand nine hundred ninety nine not, whatever yeah, random, random numbers like that. yeah numbers. <laughs> who needs numbers i'm a photographer i'm not a <laughs> exactly math number hey, guy exactly same same yeah even well, though we need that apparently according to the rumors of the world yeah, well filing your taxes yeah it's it's, it's an ongoing <laughs> problem taxes. isn't it yeah i mean the numbers keep getting smaller mm-hmm. in my bank account uh. <laughs> <laughs> and, but they keep getting bigger right uncle sam yeah 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 what's that about you gotta love inflation do i no, <laughs> I would I wouldn't mind it if like the 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 cost of like the pay rate went with it, you know. But it didn't, and it was like we went to nine and a half, and then my pay rate went to like three and a half. You yeah, it's like eh, we're not even close. No, no. But anyways, yeah, I, I I enjoy inflation to a point because it does affect the rate of pay I get as mm. a disabled vet. Okay, so it goes yeah. up. Well, that's good however, for you. yeah, I just got like a three percent uh, raise. Me too. Good whatnot. for you. So that was nice. That's you know? good. But you know, at the same time, it's like everyone's struggling, so it's <laughs> right. <laughs> I don't know. It's like bittersweet, actually. Yeah. So, but it's fine. But, so um, you were in the Coast Guard. Yes, good and? old Coast Guard. And sorry, <laughs> Before I rudely deflect. cut you off. <laughs> um, no, you're fine. Uh, so I got, got medically retired from the Coast Guard. Uh, did that for about eight years. And uh, uh, around that and previous to that, I was a state corrections officer in Virginia. That was cool. Wonderful time. And uh, I was a civilian uh, 
excuse me, a police officer in San Diego. Okay. And then post the beautiful world of law enforcement, uh, I ended up dabbling into photography. And mm. now I think, I guess I'm a pro photographer. Have you for... been paid for a gig? Yeah, it's it's cool, I if guess. If you've been paid for even one gig, <laughs> you're a pro now. Yeah, so, I mean, I'm, I'm, da- I'm dabbling, I guess. Listen, all I see on my <laughs> feed is is just you smiling at a stadium somewhere in front of this green field with a microphone in front of your hand. Yeah. You know, and then you went and photo- you photographed the uh, the Miss America pageant. Yeah, it was funny because I uh, showed up and I thought I was only going to be the on-site photographer for, for yeah. our national news. Well, our uh, reporter that evening, I'm not sure exactly what happened, but she wasn't there. And, uh, oh, jeez. You know, completely... She's a great person. I'm sure just something probably just came up. So anyway, so I ended up being the red carpet reporter and I interviewed every single state, both Miss America and Miss America teen. So it was funny because like different languages. I spoke some (laughs) languages. That's for sure. Uh, But it was just crazy because I was like. How you doing, Miss Kentucky? Right? So, like, I was going back and forth between, like, taking photos and then doing an interview. Taking photos and doing an interview. That's and then, like, good. doing video. And it's just... I mean, that uh, is a photojournalist. <sighs> yep. You were yep. doing the damn thing. It was cool. It was the most... Oh, it was just... I just it was funny because after the whole event, or at least that night, I cried hysterically. Did, like... It hits you, man. It like, really hits you. Was it, like, you. a nervous cry? No, or it was like just a appreciation, like, holy oh. crap. Where is my life going? Looked like you had a killer time. Yeah, I did. I had and an amazing time. And all those time. women are apparently really tall. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, you're, Miss America, well, Miss America teen, <laughs> thank you so much. Well, like thank I, you. Like you shot pictures of, like selfies of you. Oh, yeah. And I was like, oh, she's so she's got her pretty dress on. She looks so nice. And then you're standing next. They're like. Yeah. Amazons. You're like. Yeah, you, you don't even know. You don't even know. Like when you're actually around them, you feel so insignificant. Yeah. Then, and they're also, it's not just like height wise, they're just so, I mean, they're on the upper echelon. Yeah. The, the, people, the education that they have. But like they're this, nice, right? Oh, they're, they're nice. so nice and they're so humble. Mm. And it's like, it was one, like, I can't remember what state she was. It was like the beginning of the interviews. And I'm like, so, you know, t- tell, me, tell me who you are, where you're from, what you represent. So I'm Dr. Da-da-da, and I da-da-da-da-da, and I'm a nuclear scientist, and I studied it, da-da-da, and I'm also a lawyer, and da 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 blah, 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 And I'm like, ah! <laughs> How did and you do all of that? So, How do you, what are you I know, doing? she looked like she was like 23. I'm like, wow. Yeah, I'll, you know. And then it just kept happening. Like yeah. every contestant was I like guess that. that's the gig, though, right? Oh, yeah. If you're like, if you got all those, you know, drops in the buckets or yep. whatever, you know, you have all that background you might as well yeah go out for miss america or oh whatever. it was it was a hell of a time that's but it was funny because when i interviewed uh i guess was it miss colorado i think is the one that won she was the high. Air Force uh, yes so but when i interviewed was she her high? she she was high <laughs> well <laughs> yes, it's legal she... in colorado <laughs> no height was yeah. anyways but um <laughs> but yeah so uh i was funny when i interviewed her i was like she's gonna win like, you I just think? knew it. Because she was active duty military. Like, how American can you get? Right. You know, and she was the only one that's ever been active duty. I Did think she come out competed. eating a parrot piece of apple pie? <sighs> I, I, maybe. Maybe it was tucked under, like, maybe. one of her tight sleeves. I don't know. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, she was incredible. And I'm just like, she's going to win. Did she win? Oh, yeah, she won. Oh, fuck yeah. I was yeah. going to ask you who won. She's a pilot, like a jet fighter pilot. Oh. And I was like, gosh, she's so cool. <laughs> Yeah, like, and she's like young. Yeah, she's she's so cool. Uh, she, you know, Patty, uh, you could pull up those people on the thing. And we could talk about them. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry, I was eating a banana. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Let me put my banana down. Oh Jesus, banana, 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 banana. Sorry. But it was wild because like the one person I was really seeking to talk to was Miss Florida. Oh yeah. She wasn't on the red carpet. What? I was like, no, where's she at? Like, she was drunk. Uh, maybe sitting on a yep. drain cover somewhere, <laughs> fighting an alligator, <laughs> fucking. <laughs> Miss America. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I say that Miss Florida and is it Miss or Mrs.? Is it? I don't, the whole thing. Miss. Uh, Miss? I, I haven't, know. honestly, I kind of lost touch with it for a few years, but I remember as a kid, like watching it on TV with my mom. It was like a thing we looked forward to. Yeah. And then this year it wasn't televised. And I'm not going to get into that, but it wasn't televised. So, yeah, it was. Uh, is there, what, do you think there's a reason for it not being televised? I'm not sure specifically. I know, like. Were you bummed out because you weren't on TV? No, no, no. <laughs> I would have been like, fuck. Nah, nah, I'm not worried about that. But, uh, but, you know, what bums me out is 
how amazing this experience was and that it deserved to be televised for yeah, these women. And it wasn't sure. this year. So I just wonder, I mean, I'm not one of these like, you know, uh, what do you call it? A male feminist? But like, <laughs> male feminist. Yeah, if, if you know anybody that's a male feminist, don't trust them. You know, I, don't do it. I don't know. Ignore, maybe I know some. Maybe cut I them don't. Out of your life. <laughs> they're only trying to get into your pants. Don't, oh, dear. <laughs> yeah, they are the worst kind of fuck boys. Oh boy. Um, you know. Anyways, we we smell around. I'm kidding. <laughs> <It's so laughs> oh dear God. Here we go. It's all for the jokes. Mm. Um, but yeah, uh, I wonder though if it's like, well, let's stop televising this shit because it's like giving a bad, you know, uh, self image to like young ladies across yeah. the. I don't know. You know what I mean? But if they actually thought that, you think they would have stopped it from being televised like years, years ago. Years ago, yeah. But yeah, I don't know. I don't exactly know why, but I, the only thing I do know is that they took away the the bikini contest. Okay. Or or excuse me, bikini portion of the is that miss colorado yeah madison it... marsh miss yep. colorado yep she was the winner um but anyways they took that away she looks like she's gonna say hey yo. And... hey yo. <laughs> but then and then they replaced it with the fitness portion uh -huh. i believe and i was funny while i was watching i was like it's almost the same so what it's like they replaced they're one... still wearing the it, bikinis it... i mean you know moderate it's it's yeah, it's like boy shorts it's yeah so i mean you still have it out so i don't i don't know i don't understand it but it's fine they replaced this with that I don't know, whatever hmm. so i don't know hmm. it, it is what it is i and like i said i don't really have a firm stance on it yeah i just i just know that they took it away so yeah it's fine well it sounds like a pretty cool night yeah i was i was like i said i cried at the end of it and i got to cover two nights so i covered the first night was the red carpet mm -hmm. where they would all walk down the red carpet right. and get interviewed individually. And that was like two and a half hours of conversations for me. I was like, Phew. Yeah. like I can't believe I got through that. <laughs> it was so crazy. But And then after that, we did so well that we got access into the uh, gala or like fashion show. The Met Gala? Yeah, something like that. And uh, yeah, I got to cover that. And that was incredible. I've never actually photographed a fashion show really? or a runway show how did anything it, how did it, how you feel like you did <sighs> oh so the lighting was perfect perfect it has to be and like i don't like i'm not sure about you but i don't like posing type photography like yeah. i don't like posing people and mm -hmm. i like action raw mm -hmm. in the moment and they all no matter what perspective you took of them i guess because it looked just, like they were posing it, yeah the whole time i'm like they're not even posing for me and it's just perfect yeah it was like every shot I got was just perfect. <clears throat> you, you would, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, for clearing my throat on the mic. <clears> throat> I don't know if you follow my friend, uh, so scenic photography. He he goes down to Miami. Uh, they do that. What is that thing? Art Basel? Art Basel. Yeah, and uh, thanks for <laughs> muting your mic while you're eating your banana. Uh, <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Hey, you got to get your potassium in. We're always in. doing weird yeah, ASMR I did, up around here. I did a kettlebell here. circuit at 5 a.m. this morning. Ooh, nice. What's, what's a bull circuit? Kettle, kettlebell. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I speak Florida. <laughs> sorry. I, been, I, was, I was playing with them kettlebells. <laughs> sorry, I'm, I'm not, right I'm not from about. here. It's a whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's a whole thing. Yeah, yeah you got to get used to the draw. The, 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 yeah. Everybody's got a draw. Yeah, it's different down here. I try to hide it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I'm from Virginia, so I can't talk. <laughs> there's a there's a song. It's I don't know if you know who Ben Folds is. You probably don't. But. I mean, I didn't even know that what we said earlier was even a song. So uh, what's or a band? an artist or band, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> there's a lyric. <laughs> spit on your trying mic. to. That's your mug right now. Oh, the mic. Oh, don't worry about it. I disinfect <laughs> those. Um, <laughs> uh, sure you do. Yeah. Smell like bleach. Smell like chloroform? She's sniffing it really. Like, I'm, yeah. I don't smell anything. I'm supposed to. It's fine. It's fine. Sorry, let me hit myself with that one. It it's works. Right. She can't smell it. Sorry. Um, no, I, I, it's, uh, but yeah, I'm hiding my redneck past. But anyway, You're fine. Long story short. Yay, yay. <clears throat> Combined. Right. Yes. Right. So I saw you, and shout out to Connor on the Who Are You podcast. I saw Connor. you on, I, I love him. Uh, he, is he is the best. So wonderful. And, and his and his wife, Shannon, you're fantastic yes, too. They are wonderful people. Oh my gosh. Yes. And their stories are so I got to talk to both of them briefly yeah. about their situations mm -hmm. as well and where they came from and it it's very powerful. I'm gonna have stuff. to I had him on and I'm gonna have to have another one just to get all the shit that mm -hmm. I missed. Because oh, yeah. like we we how that was like a two forty uh, 
two hours and 45 two, minutes, wasn't it? 230, 240, I think. It I was almost yeah, three hours that I, yeah. we talked. Wow. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. yeah. That's when and you know somebody's lived a fruitful life. Well, like, we, we kind of, like, we kind of Well, know, you clicked because you're both podcast <laughs> yeah. people. I mean, we, then know, we talked about life and then we talked about aliens, aliens and, and shit. Aliens yeah. and Similar but, passions and whatnot. Oh, yeah. yeah, I saw yours with him and that mm-hmm. was oh, very God. cool. Well, I was going to say, I love you, Connor. But Jesus, I, I did not like seeing my face all over fucking Instagram like that. <laughs> <laughs> I liked it because I got to learn about you before I even mm, got to the show. It was more yeah, personalized. Yeah. Now it, I feel like we, I kind of know you, man. No, I, and I did listen to the episode, and it's it it's really it's really good. He did a really killer job, and I I was like, that was my first interview being interviewed. He's only twenty three too. Yeah. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah, he's good at it. Yeah, he's going to be really good well in the field or whatever perspe- whatever he wants to achieve. Oh, yeah. or, man, I wish I could have talked like that at 23. And you <laughs> like, have ugh. this booming, deep voice. That, yes. I mean, whatever, whatever his, he's got this crazy voice that oh, just, yeah. like, you, there's no mistake. Like a broadcaster no. voice. Almost. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Oh, yeah, he's going sure. places. Mm-hmm. I'm sure. really looking forward to seeing where yeah. his future holds. Him sure. and his, his uh, wife. Yes. Wife, yes. They're a lovely couple. Mm-hmm. And not to talk about them all night, but I just wanted to kind of shout him out and just be like, damn, I wasn't used to seeing my shit. <laughs> all over fucking Instagram, every time I looked, you know, I was like, let me find something else. But I, you know, but then I'm like, I gotta share it, you know, because yeah. he, he's posting and I don't know. It was cool. It was cool. But I saw you there, and I I listened to that podcast, and I have to say, I'm gonna. There's <laughs> a lot go. of things. I I was like mentally jotting down questions and and like of course witty anecdotes, you know. <laughs> I'm not witty, so we're not. Mm, I don't me know. neither. <laughs> I say witty, but I really mean <laughs> lowbrow. <laughs> Dick, dry dick jokes. You know? <laughs> it's fine. Really Literally, vain, really vain dick ones. jokes. Well, there's a lot from uh, the podcast I got with him. So, well, that was uh, <laughs> like it's, when you were talking about you were like it, you're looking into the cell. Oh, it was dark, God. and the guy was in there, and you couldn't see him. Did you know where I was going before you heard? The, I did. No, yeah, I yep. did. I did. <laughs> you couldn't. And see I started. You. I was like, oh my God. And I, I started thinking, I'm gonna. That's how I was gonna introduce you. I was like, she's, she's out there. She's dodging shit. She's taking pictures. She's running away from dicks. You know, but I, it, it just flying dicks. You know, but it, yeah, that joke never. It didn't build itself right. So it just, I let it go. Next time. You Next know what time. I'm saying? You yeah. really gotta hone these things. Yep. I'm not really good at I'm it. I'm not. So. You gotta write them down. I think I need to. I can give you one if you want. Yeah. There you go. A joke. Oh, I, I thought you were a fucking dun dun. Oh, okay. It's just got to be natural. It's got to flow. And yeah, we'll yeah. figure out if you get another I mean, one. Or you have to make it feel natural. But life is just life, you know? So if it happens and you tell it the way it happens and it's just humorous without even thinking it. Oh, yeah. I was laughing my ass off. I don't mean for that shit to be funny. It just it just comes out that way. So tell, tell, tell me. Oh, God. Tell me the story. I want to hear it. Are we telling this again? Are we telling it again? <laughs> oh, You're, no. The, I guarantee Part you, <laughs> the more people that see you on his and my podcast <laughs> and any other podcast that you've been on, you're going to start getting invited to uh, these things. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. This, okay, so. Which is good for you. I, I, I know, but are you ready for this? I'm ready. Round two. Okay. All right, right. Fight! Round two. It's actually like round 55 because I think I've told this story a million times. Um. All right, so backstory as correction officer. And um, anyone who's familiar with corrections knows that you don't get a lot of like self defense weapons right. or any of that. Like you kind of go in there, and the only thing you have is, you know, your pitter patter voice yeah. and uh, a cute little, cute little handheld walkie talkie. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh no, I'm being killed. <laughs> Help. <laughs> you know, and that's it. And yeah. sometimes they'll give you a baton or something, but in my case, not so much. Yeah. But anyways. You were trying um, to kill, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, really? when someone can snatch something from you easily, it's not yeah. as yeah. useful. Well, it's like, okay, so f- this day specifically, mm. we'll, we'll go back. Go Let's back go in, back. Let's go back in time. We're going to get in the way back machine. All right, so Envision. Mm. I'm coming into a cell block, mm-hmm. okay? I'm walking in. There's bars, right? There's one set of bars, and then there's a little, like, area that they hang out in, right? Mm -hmm. And then there's another cell of bars. Okay. So, no, it's actually the access into the cell block. Okay. And then beside that room, if you will, Mm. is another room where there is, like, a control booth. Oh. Okay? And they have access to that little area I just explained. So they open one gate to let you in, and then they shut this gate. And then they push a little button and they open another gate. 
Oh, okay. And then you're in. You're, you're in, in the cell block. You're with okay? the gen pop. The buffer. gen pop. That's what we call it in the business, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Yeah. Oh, have you been in? No. <laughs> Are you sure? Because you <laughs> knew watched, what that was. Watched a lot of TV shows. <laughs> oh, okay, that's what it's called, man. Not many people know that. All right, so you walk in, and then you look up. There's three floors. All right. Okay. There's a big opening, and then there's three. Can they see me, by the way, doing this? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was just trying to explain. Um, and then there's three floors, okay? Mm -hmm. And each floor, there's not walls. It's just like a handheld. Like a rail? Yeah, like a rail, right? So you go up. Like I should just area. let her flounder. I love the. the oh, sorry. <laughs> Mad lib, and, uh, whatever you call that. So there's like a big floor. That they walk on, and then there's the the three tiers. Okay. Okay, and each one of those tiers has, I think it was, fifth. Yeah, because there's yeah, I think it was like fifty cells per tier per side. And were they all full? They were all full. Wow. Some of them awful. have one bed to a room. Most of them have two. Each room has a door mm -hmm. that's got just bars. It's not like the bars. little window. That you see in a lot of the movies. This was like bars. Yeah. Bars. Okay. And so you have me on the self on the or excuse me on the floor, and then one in the control booth. So and there's three hundred of them, what and the one of you, and fuck. one of me. And that's it. And which How, is, did you shit your pants every time? Wow. I mean, you know, the I've said this multiple times. When I first went into it, it took about four months, three or four months. And I got shit on pretty often, meaning people threw shit at me. Like, oh, literally. Yeah. Um, yeah, you had to go in there but, and lose uh, it probably. You, yeah, it was, it was wild. <laughs> That's fun. But when I did go in, what I realized- You're dodging dicks and shit. Yeah, I was, I was dodging everything. It was crazy. <laughs> okay. Hey. But once you go in there and you establish your presence, you cannot let them know you're scared. Like, oh, yeah, fuck yeah. yeah. I was scared as hell. I was so scared. But, uh, you know, when you go into this and you got it, eye contact. Like, uh -huh. they're walking past you and they're like, you have to stare back. Like, whatever they're doing, you do it back. Okay. You know, like, you end up, and they're like walking. I don't I'm just know, like, but if you did that to me, I would laugh my <laughs> ass off. I mean, eventually, Everybody would just be like, oh, look at her. Well, no, She's so I, cute I trying know, to be hard. I, well, that's another story, man. I have so many stories, you have no idea. But it, down the road, after I established myself, like, later, months later, because most of the time, these guys are lifers. Right. So right. I was there for, like, three or four years. I can't even remember now. And so I saw the same guys. And eventually, yeah. you know people. Right. And they were like, hey, I remember you when you first came in. And you were like Little Miss Billy Badass with your eyes. Like, mm. yeah. And I'm like, ah, you know, and you shoot the shit and you, at that point. Because you can think back and be like, right. oh, yeah, I did do that. You're like, what is she um, doing with her eyes? Yeah. It's not all about. Yeah. But anyway, so <laughs> back to this cute little story. So, yes, please. Um, like I said, one in the control booth, one on the floor. Uh -huh. This day specifically, I was doing rounds. And I was fairly new in the game. I think I was in maybe two or three months. Mm -hmm. And I'm doing rounds and just checking in everybody's cell. And I just called for chow, okay? Meaning I'm like, chow, chow. And so everybody gets up and they go to that little confined area that I told you. You open yeah. the cell, close the cell, they go in that little area like and then you holding, open. Yeah, yeah and mm -hmm. then they, they go to chow. Okay. And so I'm doing my rounds, making sure everybody goes to chow. And so I'm going past one cell. And um, I don't want to say his name. An offender. <laughs> I'm like, oh, don't don't say his name. Um, an what offender is he goes, get out? yeah. He goes, R Rulo, C C O C O. I'm like, what? He's like, come here, come here, C O. And I'm like, what does this dude want, man? I go back. And I'm like, dude, what are you doing? He's like, hey, you know, when's when's talking to me about something? I'm like. Dude, go to chow. Like, what are you doing, bro? Like, get get up and go to chow. And why is your drape down? Okay, so they have a window in each of their cells, and he had a, like a black sheet or something over it, so I couldn't see into his cell. Uh -huh. And he just keeps talking to me, and I'm like, bro, get up, go to chow. Like, what are you doing? Like, get out of your cell and go to chow. And he just keeps talking to me, and he's got this intense eye contact. Okay, <laughs> and I don't want to talk about his complexion, you know, <laughs> but you know, I couldn't see him. Okay, so. I'm like, dude, like, what are you, what are you doing, man? Like, get up, go to chow. And then I realize, I look down, and I'm like, oh <laughs> my gosh. I'm Dear like, Lord. and immediately when I realize what he's doing, I'm, he's getting it, and I'm just like, oh my god, no, no, 
no, no. And I run. And I'm like screaming, no, get that tiny, tiny thing away. Like, put that thing away. You're disgusting. And I'm like screaming this yeah. on the top of my lungs. I am like shouting how tiny this thing is that uh-huh. I see and to put it away. And meanwhile, <laughs> the entire cell block is like frantically laughing hysterically. Dying. Like dying laughing, he runs out of the cell. Co Rulo, please, please don't. And I'm like, I'm like trying to like call into my command yeah. lieutenant and all that. I'm like, please, hey, come back. You need to what come here right with now. Them? I mean... And uh, so they're they're coming. He's like, Co, please don't tell, don't tell. I already got, I already got two strikes. So they're gonna send me away. They're gonna send me away. And I'm like, yeah, I don't, I don't even care at the time. I just wanted this to go away. And uh, yeah, they they came and they got him, and he ended up getting labeled as a sex offender after that. And they sent him to a max security. You cannot do that anymore. Yeah. Like, got him. You, you can't just whip that shit out anymore, like to, to officers, because it happens so often. Oh, yeah. And they they get labeled, even if they weren't a sex offender before, they'll get labeled as a sex offender after. Yeah. And then they they put him up. Imagine they put that's him up a real in max. problem. Oh, it. For me, it wasn't. <laughs> Because I established myself. Mm-hmm. Nobody did it to me ever again. Uh-huh. Because I guess they were scared I was going to announce to the world they had a tiny pecker. So I'm like, what do you want, man? I mean, unless it's a big one, then they know it. Yeah, uh, I just <laughs> think they were scared that. about that. But, you know, I, I never really, I never experienced anything like that no, again. That's a so. weird... <sighs> I mean, that's a funny fucking story. I Thinking mean, back, I think it's hilarious. Of course, but not it's in like, the moment. But in the moment, I was like, oh, my God, this is just, like, no. like it's crazy. Absolutely not. You, it's like, definitely the last thing you were thinking that was I, going it on. It was just so funny, because I'm just like, it didn't, it just shows had you how silly I am. Had he been there the I whole am? time you had, since you started? Was he there the whole time? <sighs> he, it was so funny, because I thought he was one of the good ones. <laughs> Like I just remember Are him. There any? I well, I just remember him being so kind to me. Yeah. You know, he was always so kind, so respectful, so so like honestly professional. Yeah. And the way he carried himself, you know, and he gained all my respect until he didn't, and it just it really took me by surprise. Yeah. It really did. Mm. But I'm like, you can't. I, can't, I had to do my job. I had no choice. Like he was mismatched. He was mismatched. But I think maybe he because I was kind. Because I told you I'm I was respectful from day one to everyone. Right. Maybe he misconstrued that for something that it wasn't. Right. But like no, nobody. It's not. Mm. It's not why I'm here. Damn. Hey, I can go outside. Like <laughs> no. That's. I mean, but like it's funny, but it's also like Jesus. <clears throat> the thought of you being in there with 300 men, you know, um, I imagine some of them violent. Yeah. Hardened criminals. Yeah. Oh, you have all kinds of things. You have things from serial killers. To, uh, they don't God. put them in a special thing? You know what's crazy? <laughs> I would like they, put them in a different no. spot, bro. Yeah. So there was and I don't mind I don't mind talking about this because this this case was so publicized, mm-hmm. but I don't know if you've ever heard of the Briley brothers. Oh no. So that was a Hold on. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Meet um, my walnut and people pull it up. Oh, you're you're good. Um so he he was there, so there was the youngest brother mm-hmm. was in the facility that I was in, okay? And he was the youngest brother in a string of serial killings up and down the East Coast. Okay, so he got incarcerated, and I think, I want to say his other other brothers got the death penalty or something. But anyways, I found out about this mm-hmm. later down the road, and he was in the kitchen working, and I used to go and do security for that area from time to time. Yeah. And he was always very kind, very respectful, very professional. He ran his kitchen solid like no issues with him and he was out with kitchen knives like in the kitchen just wow yeah so i mean that was a horrific thing what happened so so one of those guys yep. was in the kitchen with knives mm-hmm. and he was a serial killer so he was the youngest i don't know if he was actually responsible for the killings but he which he, one was it he was le- they the killed young. 11 okay, people it says they both went on a killing spree oh no Duncan, okay, that guy, Duncan Eric Meekins, went wow, on a back killing in spree. Seventy-nine. Jesus. Yep, it was a big talk during the time. See, I, I was in seventy-nine. I was like literally only two years old. I wasn't born, so. so. Um, but anyways, from hmm. that experience, so what happens is they're put in max security. Yeah. Okay, so when they are corroborating with these crimes or whatnot. They, they're put in the highest level. Right. And then after a period of time, if they do good in with their time served, they lower their level mm. to where they can actually interact in the cell. They don't have 24-hour confinement. Okay. Um, and so this specific um, 
prison I was in, they, I think they were only, I want to say it was like 12 hours lockdown, meaning like nighttime. Right. And then during the day, unless we had count or something going on where we had to um, actually physically lock the the block or whatnot, yeah. um, they got to be, move around freely okay. within their cell block or their dormitory or rec or whatnot. Like they actually got rec yeah. versus max, they only get one hour a day right. out. That's it. Just to go outside. And sometimes and they're there. in like, they're out outside, but they're actually in like, kind of like a cage. Yeah. So, That's fine. but no, this, this is not like that. So I got to mix and to, mingle. <laughs> you, ever, you ever have to toss someone's rack? You know what? That wasn't my responsibility. No. That was, oh God, I forgot what it's called now, but it was like the, the SEAL Team 6 of yeah. corrections. Yeah. And everything you see in the movies they about how silly they are is what they are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's, it's exactly what you see. It's, it's very like hardcore, but their gear is like. <laughs> so they come, they roll up. Yeah, they They're roll like up. They're fucking drill sergeants. Gosh, I cannot remember what that was called. I wanted to do it, but I ended up leaving shortly before. I ended up wanting to get involved in that, but I ended up, I can't remember what it's called now to save my life, but there's a program for it and everything. Mm. But yeah, you go to like a certain school and go through specific training and yeah, so I didn't, I never did anything. I never flipped like the beds or anything. So yeah. not in my, well, I watched not in many, my wheelhouse. I watch too many movies. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> I don't. I live them. I live <laughs> the movies. I'm just kidding. You did. Uh, so many things. So let me go back, because normally I ask where you're from, and I think you said, uh, let me see if I can remember. Okay, I can't remember. All right, you're fine. I am from the 804 VA baby all Virginia, day. Richmond. Yep, mm -hmm. Richmond, yep. That's, yeah, I was going to say yeah. that, but I was like, I'm going to sound so stupid. No, you're but I so sound... close, though. You're so close. Yeah. Well, not actually Richmond. <laughs> so I was south of Richmond, okay. and uh, my area code was, or excuse me, my uh, mailing address was was Petersburg, um, but I actually went to Matoka. So it was funny because it was like Hickville, but also the hood. So it was like <laughs> a mix and mingle of all so the Jacksonville. different- So Jacksonville. Maybe, maybe, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I loved it. It was like a melting pot that all came together, and yeah. we were all friends. Like people would have their Confederate flag in the back of their truck, yeah. and waving their their gang signs. But they were friends. Does that make sense? Like yeah. that's how I grew up. Like we were all just friends, and I was friends with everybody. Mm -hmm. Like every season, I had like a different color hair or like different. Like I wore Fubu and like Tim's one season, okay. and then the next season I had like freaking like goth. <laughs> yeah, I was goth one season. It's like I didn't know what I wanted to be because I was friends with everybody. Well, yeah, no, how, what age you're talking about? Oh, I'm talking like middle school. Yeah, like no school. one fucking does. Yeah. Except for me, I knew I wanted to be me. Yeah, I wanted to be this. I've I've looked like this, like minus the beard. Yeah, you know, um, and the liver spots. Uh, but I've looked. This, I've worn the same clothes. There's nothing wrong with that. You know who you are. Yeah. Some yeah. of us just trying to. Fi I'm still trying to figure out who I am. Like every day, I'm like, okay, I know I'm this, 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 and this. But as far as this, pff, I don't know. <laughs> I'm like, cause next, I was like, I had dreads a few months ago, or not yeah. a few months ago, like a year ago. I think that I, I one of the pictures you sent yeah. me. Yeah. You know, right? Yeah. I'm like, and then the next month I'll have black hair, and the yeah. next month I'll have pink hair. Like I really don't know. It's like it it's seems, just a vibe. It seems you know? like it's easier for girls to do that. Is that a sexist thing to say? I mean, maybe. Like, but but when maybe I maybe it's sexist or maybe oh no, okay. oh no no no. <laughs> No, I mean, maybe it's easier for girls, but honestly, in this profession that I'm in, no, it's not. Okay. You know, maybe as the photographer aspect, but now I'm re approaching reporting, and I'm getting more and more comfortable with that, and it's mm. like, I mean, I already have a, a freaking sleeve, yeah. you know, and the size of Texas, and I had no idea professionally what I was going to get into. Right. And it's not like I grew up, I was like, oh, I want to be a photographer, so I want to be a professional news anchor. If you make it to like uh, <laughs> WJXT or whatever, you know, and you're yeah. like, out on... We are live in front. You have to use and your have left. My, you got to yeah. use your left hand, or you know? just wear long sleeve dresses. Or maybe we'll be more accepting of how people present themselves. I mean, themselves. I would hope. You know, I think it's ridiculous. That'd be dope. Yeah, it would be dope. Yeah, I'd like to set a new standard. I've been talking to it to a couple of people. I'm like, you know, obviously, I'm not with a big name network. I'm not with ESPN or Fox, sure. which is fine. I love the companies I'm with. Like, I'm obsessed with them, and I love to see their growth. But I'd like to be an example for new people in the future coming into these positions, news anchors, yeah. reporters. You know, who have a a presence, a mm -hmm. stage presence, these in these big platforms to be able to be creative with our looks. Right. You know, like I don't want to feel like obligated to look cookie cutter. I want to look what I want to look. You yeah. know. And I just I hate that. That's something I'm trying to figure out on my own. Well, but. that is why I do this because <laughs> I, I, I well, first of all, 
I mean, I don't have the background or any of the skills to. Be, I didn't either. I figured it out, man. Yeah, I, but I mean, I don't. I don't want to. I can just do my own thing. You know. You I mean? think you don't want to until you have the opportunity and you have a, a chance, mm-hmm. and then you're like, okay. I went to uh, the. I think it was WJXT. They do. Look at you. Okay. Now, now we're getting a new. Well, I, I have some that. friends that they play. You know, I. You might have seen their photos I did of them. Uh, Sparks in the Garden. It's a band, and they get invited to do this morning show. That's cool. Yeah, it's like Good Morning Jacks or something like that. Do they have to do like a cliche, like, or can they be more themselves? Well, they just sing. They just get up there and play. They don't. I don't. So they don't. They might it. interview them a little bit, like in the middle of between playing and like uh, commercials or whatever. Yeah. Um, but it's very sh- brief. You know, they they keep their interviews for like thirty seconds. Like literally, they'll ask you a question. You have you have to answer it in like five seconds, and then it's like, okay, back to you. You know, and that's. It's interesting. But I was in there, and I went with them to photograph it. Okay. And I was just not, I mean, yeah, I wasn't impressed. It's too, uh, you could, I mean, it's just like with this, like if you have somebody who sponsors you, then you got to do it their way instead of how you want to do it. Too artificial. Depends. Yeah. That depends. If you right? get the right contract. There you go. Or you have the contract written up yourself or your lawyers do it. Yeah. But, you know, I mean, like, I don't, nobody sponsors this. And, you know, I do this shit. This is all me. Yeah. I sponsor this. That's why I love the company I'm with. <laughs> yeah. As far as Legacy Maker, and mm-hmm. I mean, they are so wonderful. Yeah. I mean, I am allowed to be myself. Yeah. I'm allowed to be creative, and I'm allowed to do. You know, I get to put my spin on things. Give them and, a shout out, man. Yeah, Legacy Maker Sports Network That's in the house. Up. Yes, Mr. Darrell Owens. Yep, that, okay. that's a, that's my home. I tell people that all the time. They started me up with all this stuff, and I'm they're they have my heart. I'm so loyal to them. I ugh, I can just talk about them all day. I just love I them will so do much. it. I mean, I got nothing else to do. Yeah, I just love I'm, them. I'm so free much. for the next like until tomorrow morning. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure I'll ha- if I did that, I'd have to segment this, cut it into like four different things. Yeah. But I-, uh, I, I just want to make something aware. Patrick. I'm not free till tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I was just say I think I might be driving back to Tampa because I just found out I might be covering Are Joe you? Biden. So oh, that's right. Yeah, so, so is like, he ah. coming or just the first lady? Oh, just the first okay. lady. I've already covered her before once in Pittsburgh, okay. but it wasn't as far of a drive this time. Probably more exciting with her, huh? You know what? I'm not going to get into that. <laughs> we are going to focus on each okay, other. Okay, yeah, all right, you're right, you're That's right. somebody else's expert opinion. Hard. Just saying. Just saying hard. Uh, hard. You know, you know, listen, I, you know, one of the th- I won't talk about him, but just <laughs> in general, you know, uh, I, I don't know, do you know who Henry Rollins is? It sounds so familiar, like like he, Harry Potter or Well, something. he used to have a band, Henry Rollins' band. He was yeah, in Black know. Flag. I feel like uh, I don't know, so I'm going to tell you I don't know. <laughs> Oh when it comes I thought to, I was out of touch. When it comes to music and like <laughs> like num like not numbers, when it comes to like the names of artists yeah. and man, I don't know. Well, he does now in his older age. He has a podcast and he goes on tour doing spoken word. Like it's basically stories that he just tells about his life and stuff like that. It's basically comedy because you laugh the whole fucking time. He's hilarious. I want to laugh. Um, but bring uh, him in. Let's let's well. Let's do a show. I would hey. lo- I would love to. That would be that. If anybody asked me who my dream not. No offense, but my dream no, guest I get it. No, is you're Henry good. Rollins. I, I've been following that cat. I've read his books. I mean, just you name it. Uh, Sounds like a great catch. We should set you up on a date. I know. That'd be lots of fun. I would totally sniff his balls. Um, <laughs> yeah. Do not post that. <laughs> wow. It's going to get posted. I know. I mean, it's already live. That is different. <laughs> it's out there. It's not the same. <laughs> I'll make sure I cut you With out of With cap cut balls. Yeah, right? Um, Jeez. What was I going to say? Oh, no. He, what he said, he had said, I went and saw him live, and he was, like, talking about presidents. He's like, you may not like the president, but you just hope that they're the best that they can be at that job at that moment. That's all you can hope for. So you may hate the president. So I like, it's like that. When people, like, get pissed off when, like, Trump or whoever or Biden or whoever's in, you know, Clinton fucking... Whoever's in charge, you know, and they're like, I find, this is not my country. No, it is, and he is your president. Let's all just hope that he does the best job that he can possibly do. And that's all. Amen to that. Yeah. Amen to that. Because somebody, Snaps. and I don't know <laughs> whose fucking finger is on that button. Yeah. 
So just everybody just chill the fuck right, out. He's talking about the special button. Oh. Yeah. No, he made yeah, a special like, one time like, too yeah. He's like, is he talking about his button? Like, what is he talking about? No, <laughs> I mean, I see him surrounded by a computer, so I'm like. He's touching lots of buttons. Yeah. I see that. I'm like wondering what he's doing over there with his alien fingers. <laughs> He's, well, like, well, he's well, got well, like well, glowing well, well, finger sticks over there, and I'm just like, what is he doing? Yeah, he's just switching cameras. I feel like I should maneuver the camera on him so you can actually see. He's got his... one on him. Yeah, no, but you right can't here. see his finger sticks. Yeah, that's right. His finger sticks. Finger sticks. That's the... a new one. I have normal size hands. <laughs> yeah, but on the keyboard, you can actually see how they're for glowing. For shooting. <laughs> I'm just letting you know. Okay, you have glowing finger sticks like aliens, but it's fine. Glowing <laughs> finger sticks. Yep. That's hilarious. I never uh, even thought about that. Glowing finger sticks, y'all. The things we talk about here on the Gray Beard Podcast. That's right. This is awesome. I made it as obvious as I possibly could with the with With the the beard. Do you do you dye your beard gray or is it just natural? It's naturally old. (laughs) I'm getting gray hairs too, man. (laughs) I don't think we're that much apart in age. Um, just turned forty-seven. Ah, yeah, about ten years. Yeah, but I mean, I don't know. When did you get the gray? It started about. Probably about ten years ago. Yeah, I'm starting to get them. I just, I yeah. was, I mean, they keep sprinkling through every other day. I'm like, no, what's happening to me? Yeah, <clears throat> last year I cut all my hair off. It was long, and probably about as long as yours. No cut, way! Yeah. That's so exciting. But I, I, I'm growing it back out, and now I'm seeing it. much more gray, much yeah. more like. Just a lot. I, I mean, kind of like the gray look. I mean, that's an even thing. Like with women, we dye our hair silver, you know. Yeah. So it's a look. Like it's oh, a yeah. regal it's, look. It's a look when you don't want it to be a look, I, or like, I like when you, or when you do want it to be a look. But when you don't want it to be a look, you just yeah. For me, I think it's old. like it shows status. Is that what it is? <laughs> wisdom. What status though? <laughs> like wisdom, you know. Yeah, wisdom. Oh, yeah. Yes. You're an elder of the. <laughs> That's not even what I'm saying. Elder say. of the cultist. You're an elder. You're uh, a get, I'm hey, Gandalf. Jim the Wise. So what am I going to do? I live in a van. Will I ever be an elder of the cultist? You might people, just be an elder of the fucking roads or some shit. How many people have <laughs> made the whole Chris Farley joke about living in a van down by the river? Oh, dude, you don't even know. You don't even know. Because sometimes I have lived down by the river, so That's it's so true. Cool. Like, And honestly, some of the best spots. Are you cold? I am. Can you tell I'm cold? Oh, well, you that, see nipples that, or n- something? No, I know that that vent's right over here. <laughs> uh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> no, you can't. You just randomly ask am I cold? Because like, you're like you're, you're shaky a little oh, bit. I'm a spaz. I'm, okay, that fit is right. I know it gets cold when that AC's on. No, it's just natural like spazziness. Your vent's better than mine. But anyways, <laughs> what were we talking about? Van wow. down by the river. Yes. So now she talked about nipples, and I I'm trying not to look. No, <laughs> you're fine. No, I have like a gray. Yeah, hair. I don't know what's going on now. <laughs> I have like a gray hair on my hat. Is that yours it's or is that mine. your dog's? It's probably my dog. <laughs> So, anyways, down by the river. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, I mean, some of the best spots I've found are down by the river yeah. under the bridge. Right. And I know that sounds like, to most people, sketch of shit, but, I mean, also there's normally no one peppers. there. Because yeah, everyone because. else is like, that's sketch of shit. Yeah. You know who but chili like, peppers are, right? Ch- the ch- red hot chili peppers? Yes. Yes. Okay, under the bridge, downtown. Okay, carry on. Okay, yes. <laughs> Thank you. I finally got something. <laughs> um. <laughs> Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Wow, he's really good with those alien fingers over there. Good job. Wow. Johnny on the spot. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, and I just, I dig it. I don't like being around people when I'm in my element because I'm, yeah. like, washing my dishes in the parking lot, you know? Like, I'm, like, you know, Love combing that. my hair on the sidewalk, you know? And people are just, like, staring, like, what the hell is that person doing? You know, with all this judgment in their eyes, and you can just see it. Yeah. And, and then they walk up, and they're, like, da-da-da, and I'm, like... I talk just a little bit about myself, and they're like, "Wow, I just never saw that yeah. from you." And I'm like, "What does that mean?" Yeah, and people, do people, how often do you get like stopped by police officers on a regular basis? Thanks. Come on, Bobby. No, <laughs> but for real though, calm down, fellas. Yeah. Um, and ladies. Yeah. Uh, how often do you get people that are like, "Oh my God, I'm so jealous." I do, but I don't. I'm it, fucking jealous. So like, like, I get that's a, our goal. You know, we want to do that. You can. And I'll tell you how. After this next segment. <laughs> <laughs> we don't do segments. Um, right back. Yeah. I don't even know. I feel like I was, five about, and to, five. I was about to say something and I forgot. Oh, I lost my train uh, of thought. Jealous. Oh, yes. Thank okay. you. Jealous. <laughs> that was the cue word. My brain, dude. I got ADHD too. So, man, I think I'm, me and you get along because yeah. of that because I feel like this I'm is gonna un- be a diagnosed ADHD. Listen, you guys better take, uh, <laughs> what is it, Ritalin? What the fuck is that shit? Yeah, Ritalin. No, uh, not Ritalin. What's that uh, uh, eight, amphetamine uh, shit that they take for ADHD? Oh, uh, what the fuck? 
You know what I'm talking about. Take that shit for us. Yes, I don't take, take any, any of opioid that, so. you want. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. No, this yeah. is my only drug of choice here. Oh, same, 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 same. Um. So they were jealous, but not jealous. So I get two sides of the coin. I get coins like you who mm-hmm. say things like that, and I obviously it's it's very encouraging because it makes me feel like I'm a ac- I've accomplished something that so- is, sure. a, is a dream of mm-hmm. so many. people. People, especially creatives, like right. you know, because it's freedom. Just the freedom, yes, the freedom of it all. But then there's the other side of the coin. Like there was this gentleman. We'll call it Mountain in case he's watching. Um, we'll call him, oh, I thought you said we'll call him Mountain. I'm uh, like, no, no, I won't call him out. <laughs> um, uh, I met him at a Jacksonville game, and you know, I was I was doing reporting, and I interviewed him because he had this really gnarly, cool company that he was representing, and I'm like, that is awesome. I'd like to get you on an interview, so I interviewed him on the spot, and then. I ended up getting his information to send him the content that I was going to create. Yeah. And um, then he talked to me. He was like, you know, how, where, where do you live at? And I was like, actually, I live in a, a van. And he was like, because he, he has this thing where he, like, promotes awareness with vets, with veterans or whatnot. Yeah. And he categorized me because he was like, oh, I feel so bad for you. He felt like you were destitute. Yeah. yeah. And, like, he put me in, like, a category <clears throat> of, like. Like a drifter. Ho- yeah. Well, he, it was almost like he made it out to be, like. It was a bad thing. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, I'm so sorry. And I'm like, no, no, no. I, I want this life. And he was like, I feel bad for you. But why? Yeah, he was like, I feel really, really bad for don't you. don't have roots. Yeah, and I'm just like, well, wow. for me, it works. And I was trying to be as as kind and res- respecting of his opinion because everybody just has their opinions. Sure. And sometimes some people just need to be educated, you right. know, And because not it's not everybody has to have the same life. No. Like. Yes, there's there's people that live in homes, there's people that live in buses, there's people that live in boats. Yeah. I've lived in a bunch of different things. I've lived on the water. <laughs> I've lived I've lived in in multiple types of vehicles, you know, like I mean, I've lived in a bunch of different things and each one of them has a different like meaning at the time. Yeah. You know, it's just kind of where you're at in life and like me where I'm at, it's like I have so many different callings. I'm getting pulled so many different places. Yeah. So for me, it just makes sense. Pers- yeah, for me it just makes sense like like when I go to a gig, like tomorrow, I'm, I'm tonight, I'm probably going to maybe going to Tampa, you know. I could just go to sleep afterwards. I don't right. have to like drive back to a house, you know. Right. You know, and like I know uh, a few weeks ago, I covered it. Not three weeks, probably a few months ago. I covered a Jags game, mm-hmm. and that after, so I covered that game the afternoon. That night, I drove up to D.C. and covered the White House. Oh wow! And then the next day, I went to Danville or Pittsburgh, and I covered. I don't know. I've covered multiple things yeah. within like a 48 hour ra- radius. And every time when I was done, I could get in the car and I could take a nap. Yeah. You know? And I just keep on trucking. I didn't need to go back to like my roots. Car naps are the best. Yeah. Especially when there's a big bed. <laughs> <laughs> it makes it so much better. How, um, how, how often do you meet like, um, do you meet like other groups? Like, I, cause I've seen this before. Like, I've watched a lot of things, I watch a lot of TV. Uh, but like YouTube and stuff. And uh, one of the creators I follow, he kind of like met in this one place where he was doing this. He wanted, to, there's this specific photograph he wanted to get. And there was this fucking army of like, you know, redone buses. Okay. You know, and there was just like a community. Okay. And everybody was like, are you hungry? Come on, man. Come on the bus. That's and really cool. I've never actually. He was like in and out of the bu- all the yeah. buses and shit and That's cool. vans and Having coffee and like, like a like a van bus cult, kind of like a yeah, like a caravan <laughs> kidding, or like, whatever. Yeah, you know? like, no community, yeah, yeah, no. little community. I think that's rad. I really think it is. Like I know a shit ton of people in the community, but as far as like caravanning, yeah, I haven't done that. My life is just way too here, there, here, there. Right. Like you know, especially where I'm heading right now at this point in my life. Um, it's just it's kind of all over the place. There's right. no consistency. There's yeah. no structure. It's just like. But you like the craziness. I love the. Cra- I thrive on the craziness. Sounds and- like jit. He. Uh, he's <laughs> yeah. he's, he said, "I love the chaos." I love chaos, and yeah. I don't know if it's because my fucked up um, upbringing or not. Excuse my language. No, you- oh my but- god! Did you just cuss on this? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're gonna. We're gonna have to fucking edit that. Sorry. What the um. Fuck? You know, but I'm just very used to to that, and uh, yeah. you know, I like the unknown. I love the ability to just come and go as I please. Yeah. You know, and I don't have. Other than this beautiful fourteen-year-old Labrador Retriever, yeah, um, I really don't have any responsibilities other than myself. You right. know, and I have my mom and you know my siblings and stuff. Mm-hmm. But after the past couple of years, I've kind of like 
closed some chapters in all of our lives. So Mm -hmm. we're like on this like moving forward thing. So I don't have to do as much and be involved as involved in their lives as I once was. So, yeah, I mean, unfortunately, when you get older and, you know, I'm trying to tell I've got two daughters. I'm always trying to tell them they're like, I feel bad. You know, I I, I miss you. I feel bad because we don't talk or whatever. Like. He's married to one of my kids, and she calls me every morning. Aww. You know? So, I mean, and my youngest snaps me every morning. Oh, I love that. The Snapchat. That's we, cool, we, man. We've got like a 380-day snap thing going. I, uh, I tell you what, share. Is it called a streak? Yeah, yeah. a streak. Yeah. Cherish that. Yeah. Cherish I, it. I I I miss I miss those relationships with my sister and brother take when it they to were the grave. little. Yeah. And I'm hoping, you know, once they graduate college that that's going to start to come back. And I I can already kind of see it coming back around the table with my yeah. brother. He's uh I think he's going to be 24 in March, so mm-hmm. I'm going to go up this weekend and see awesome. him. So, but Yeah, but I try yeah. to tell him that it's we all get our own lives. Yep. You're going to develop your own life. Yep. You're going to you know, and I mean, even if you're a mile down the street, you know, we may not see each other all the time. Yep. And it's okay. It is okay. You know, but you miss them. Oh, yeah. I yeah. love my kids de- dearly. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I love them to death, but it's just one of those things where it's like they got their thing. I've got, I'm have i on my, like, fourth life, you <laughs> know. The cots in the cradle and the silver spoon. Yeah, little yeah. boy blue. Yeah. Type shit. Hey, he needed the money. Oh, yeah, sorry. I really feel you when you when you say fourth life. I feel like I'm right there with you. Yeah, it's weird <sighs> how shit works out. Yeah. Because, I mean, I was married. For like twenty something years, I think I heard you on that probably podcast. But you just don't think that. about it, you know. Mm-hmm. I mean, like I never thought I would not be married, but now that I'm not, <laughs> I'll never do it again. Yeah, <laughs> man. I, you know, I, every, I don't know, man. It's a different time than it used to be, and I once upon a time was like really passionate on that topic, and and now on marriage. Yeah, it was my. Ugh. Backstory. Uh, I don't even want to say the word. Comfor- well. I'm comfortable talking about it a little bit okay. now, you but I won't. Have to. I won't. I won't dive too much in okay. it. Okay. But uh, parents were uh, married for forty some odd years, mm. and uh, they got separated about three years ago or something. Okay. And uh, recently, the d- divorce was finalized, mm. and like two weeks later, my dad got remarried to somebody my age. And That's I'm like, wow. yeah, so it's just, you know, my mom, you know, she's Someone almost, your age? Yeah. Oh, and it's just like, and my mom, you know, she's almost 60 and, you know, she's, she's kind of restarting life. He left her and, yeah. you know, she was, she was like the, the house provider person, you know, a different time. And, and it's just, it's just sad, you know, but I'm, I'm so proud of her though, you know? Yeah. Cause, Cause she's like, she's got her own place now and she's Good. like kind of restarting over and, you know, it's like just relearning who she yeah, is. Yeah. It's yeah. just, it's weird, you know, but it, but it's also exciting because she, she deserved far better. And I'm, yeah. I'm kind of glad that this all happened because it, it made, I think that this was good at, for her mental health and for all of their kids' mental health as yeah. well. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think it's weird that people, when they get married or, I mean, they, they become this oneness. Yeah. You know, you, you leave yourself behind and you become this, you know, Brangelina thing, you know, it's yeah. just like, what? Yeah. I definitely did. I, I gave up on everything. And I was just like, I was just happy being a married guy. Yeah. You know, and didn't think anything. Of that. It was like the rest of the world didn't matter. Yeah. I was like, whatever. Well, they were your identity. They were yeah. your, your, your crutch, your everything. Mm-hmm. I mean, I get that. I mean, but sometimes it's not both that feel that. Right. And what do you do when you're not that person that doesn't feel that now and they leave, yeah. you know, it's just, it's, it's terrible. It's like, so, so fat, yeah. yeah. You know, because, because you can only control yourself, right? You right. can't control that other person no. and how they feel. No. You know, if they don't reciprocate the emotion and they don't tell you they don't reciprocate the emotion, you could be 40 years into it like my mom and mm-hmm. what do you do? But you can control you, but yeah. it's hard to control those feelings and the emotions that come up because yep. you're like, what? the fuck is wrong with me? there's all kinds yeah. of shit that comes up man it took me at least three years to get right yeah you know well they say for every year of marriage my brother told me this yeah as a it half life like, yeah. yeah yep it's not true it didn't take me fucking yeah. 10, 10, 11 <laughs> years to get over her i know i keep giving my mom grace i'm like it's okay it's gonna be fine i went to a lot of therapy mm-hmm. oh i need that man i listened to Woo. a lot of uh therapeutical podcasts you know stuff like that you know anything self-help shit anything i could do to like help me get through my shit and then it's just like 
That's good though. That means you had the ability to reflect. I've so many people that. can't do that. Yeah. I, well, like I mean, and, and we don't have to keep referencing because I know you've heard about me and I've heard about you. But I know, we'll just, but still, these people haven't heard. The Hello. people that are, yeah, my my people haven't heard any of this yeah. shit. Yeah. I mean, unless they watch the the Who Are You podcast, where you can listen to both of us on our, and tell our stories. Mm-hmm. But uh, I fucking forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> um, the D word. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah. I, I, this. How you how you deal with it? I mean, it, yeah. Some people can't drag themselves from, back from that. That's mm-hmm. important that you could. Thanks, Pat. Yeah. You know, I'm proud of you, man. He steps yeah. in. I fucking lost my total. No, but like derailed. seriously, that, you know, the yeah. position that you were in and everything, the circumstances, it's good that you uh, that you're still here. Yep. What I was going to, I think I remember. What I was going to say is like, my, I lost my dad when I was young, and, yep. and you know, my. That's hard, I, man. I watched my sisters go through a bunch of shit, yep. and you know, and I'm just like. I don't, and I said at an early fucking age that I don't want that shit for me, you know. So I would work my dick into the dirt to make sure I was mentally okay. Good, you know. So until I got married, then I just stopped. I relied everything on her and the kids. And then when that ended, I was like, "Fuck! I forgot how to do this." Yeah, it just takes you a little time, and you go through the hills and valleys. And but yeah, I, I'll never love anybody enough ever again to like get the government involved. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> yeah, it's like, and then like the aftermath of it too. It's yeah. like, oh my gosh, I have to pay. Yeah. This person just to, to like versus when you're dating and, and you both agree to disagree, you just go your separate ways. Right. Not this whole court thing and you get caught up in this whole thing it's like i think whoever it's just a money maker whoever's idea (gasps) of divorce is i think they need to spend at least a year in jail yep (laughs) i agree (laughs) i mean that'll learn you fucker it's as crazy as it sounds i used to i used to be like really one of those people that was like oh if i meet the right guy you know but this this past season though it's like man it's like as far as therapy goes, I need therapy. Like, this was not good for me in my, like, you right. know, like, the ability to connect with someone else on an intimate level right. and have a relationship that's, like, meaningful and, and of substance. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna lie, like, my dad kind of fucked my head with this whole situation, yeah. you know? It's like the trust thing, you yeah. know? And when to allow people in again, you know? I yeah, Me personally, I'm completely okay with admitting that I need therapy. I need help. Oh, like, well, that's it's good. definitely... We all do. I think yeah. everybody, even if you feel healthy, mm-hmm. even if you feel like you have a healthy, strong mind, yeah. I think you need... Everyone should go at least, you know, once or twice in their life. Yeah. You know, it's I've been going since I was a kid. Yeah, you know? I started, but the VA sucks. Yeah. <laughs> the VA sucks, man. <laughs> like straight up, you know, like I got <laughs> I have the 100 percent rating and all this. And I'm like, all right, like, hey, can I can I get some help? <laughs> like, <laughs> can I talk to somebody? And they're like, yeah, three months. <laughs> I'm like, what? Yeah, they're like, <laughs> like. He's ex-military. He, oh, yeah, you get it. <laughs> yeah, I'm 80%. Yeah, dude, it's just like, it's bullshit. It's like, I am I need help now, not three months from now. Right, right. But, and, and like, well, do you want to hurt yourself or others? No, I just want to talk to somebody. I want to hurt you right now. <laughs> yeah, it's like, really? They're always promoting all this crap. Like, Actually, yes, motherfucker. Yeah, <laughs> like, like, for instance, the homeless vet thing. Oh, they're always promoting that they help the homeless. No, they fucking don't. No. Excuse my language. All that money's fucking siphoned yeah. off the bullshit oh, programs yeah. and oh, yeah. bullshit pockets. Like, I was... I so would, funny that keep, she keeps saying, excuse my language. I know. I'm yeah, so what's sorry. The, what the fuck? Oh, I did it again. I know. I actually heard a podcast the other day. Stop apologizing mid-conversation. So I'm going to try to apply it today. Here we go, yeah, guys. Keep going. No more. Hey, let's do a drinking game real fast. Right. Every time she yeah. says, I'm sorry for saying the word fuck, take a shot. There you go. All right. Ready? Coffee? I'm sober, so I don't I don't drink. But yeah, we'll I don't do either, but we'll promote other drinking, mm-hmm. others drinking. We'll take shots of caffeine. <laughs> That's right. B12. Let's go. Um, but yeah, no, I was homeless. I was like legit homeless yeah. at one point. Mm-hmm. Um, I want to say like two, two and a half years ago or something like that. I got caught up in a situation that was, was a little uncomfortable and you know, it wasn't anybody's fault. It's just, it just happened. And, um, yeah, I had a friend I was living with at the time and he lost his house and mm. I was in the position where I had to kind of figure it out real quick. Yeah. And I called, um, I actually called the VA to help with that situation to just house me for a little bit. Right. You know, to kind of figure it out, like what my next move was. And I tell you what, man. They slapped, told you no. They were like, nope. Like they gave me all these different um, pamphlets. Yeah. Essentially. (laughs) Oh, I can direct you to this person or I can direct you to that person or that, that, that. I'm like, okay. So I call the direct, the directions that they're providing me and, 
oh, well, uh, we don't really have anything going on right now. To, it's like, going to be help. a six to nine month wait. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I'm like, uh, well, they're like, we can put you in like a one day thing tonight. And I'm like, so like, you want me to be like in a room with a bunch of creepy people? Like, I'm like, no, like I will need like a place like with myself. And they're yeah. like, yeah, we can put you in like a, a room with like other people. I'm like, no. I love the voice. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's good. No, it's just, it's bullshit, man. It's like we put so much money and we believe in the system. It's like the 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 disabled veterans are like the main proponent or propaganda for them right. or marketing to make money, right? And it's like, yeah, hello. They, they use us as cannon yeah. fodder. It's mm-hmm. like, hello, I need help. Nah. Yeah. Or like then you have to fight for your, for your freaking rating to prove that you're sick when they put you out for being sick. It's like, why am I still fighting the system? It's like, you put me out because I was sick, so therefore I'm obviously sick. Like, yeah. But I have to hire a lawyer it's on to fucking prove it. Paper. Yeah, it's like, why am I hiring a lawyer, therefore stressing myself out to prove that I'm sick when y'all told me I was sick and could not work anymore? Right. Like, I don't know. It's just, I could go on this all day. Yeah, I can sell. I'm so pissed Somebody right now. Is very <laughs> unhappy the with VA, our government. man. Oh, they piss me off, but yeah. it's fine. Well, that, yeah, that is one of my biggest <sighs> gripes about the government is the fact that they don't take care of no they don't you just send all these fucking wars yep all this fucking bullshit it's complete bullshit and then you just get this yeah yeah it's like oh here good luck i'll give you 10 percent for your no eyes it's like what i lost an arm and a leg and you're gonna give me 10 percent like what i think like it's just bullshit i think i mean well there's a lot of there's a lot i think a lot about like being people being compensated but like military people if you were in and you served and you did your time, I think that you should be taken care of for life. I agree. There's, there's, uh, you know, politicians that are in there for life, yep. and they're making bank. Yep. You know, it's like, uh, you can't break me off a little piece of that Kit Kat bar. Yeah. A, re- a redistribution well, of wealth? What? Yeah. Well, that would mean... that and would mean, power? Yeah, that's like, what is that, socialism or something? Yeah. yeah. Well, I just don't agree with the whole, like, if they're going to put you out for a reason... Yeah, that's that's reason enough to not serve the country that you love. Mm -hmm. You know, obviously, most of us tend to be pretty passionate about that for a reason. Yeah. Like I joined because I loved serving like I loved it. Didn't love everything, but I loved the purpose behind it. Okay, I loved the freedoms. I love that. And, you know, and then I get this massive illness and I'm like fighting to stay in. And then they they medically retire me out. Mm. So obviously they feel I'm not well. Yeah. And now they put me out on the streets, okay? And I'm still not well. Yeah. And you're, I'm paying, I'm making twelve hundred a month, mm-hmm. and I'm sick as shit. And I did that for two years, making mm-hmm. twelve. I couldn't work. There's no way I could work. I fought for two years to get my rating up, mm-hmm. and it's like I shouldn't have to get a lawyer and prove which exacerbates my illness because stress hurts yeah. me, and it's like all this does is stress me out. Like we shouldn't have to fight. For mm-hmm. that, we sh- it should just be given to. Yeah. Uh, not you not know. only that, the lawyer yeah. gets no, part of your right. compensation. Yeah, and then, exactly. The lawyer like, gets part of your compensation. Yeah. is fucked up. It's crazy. Yeah. It's like absolutely crazy. Be laws it's against like, these things. Yeah, it's it's wild. Yeah. Uh, uh, I've learned so much with this experience, but yeah, I just because like there's a lot of illness this is, illnesses that are exacerbated by stress mm. and mine is definitely one of them and it's like wow so thanks for stressing me out even more and i'm broke sorry you know no not you oh. <laughs> but um yeah that shit's wild to me it's ass backwards it really is yeah. and, but sounds ass backwards i don't know like i said i didn't serve but i mean that's probably because my dad did um <clears throat> plus i was like when i was like a teenager it's one of those like i was in a band <laughs> smoked a lot of weed and i was i was probably like one of the, like the modern day hippie at that time so i was just like man fuck that i'm not go-. i i i don't know if i i don't think i talked about that but uh <laughs> i got you know you got to do like the uh, what is it the uh the draft we had to fill out the draft form oh uh, yeah so that you know i guess it's like giving them our consent that they can take us away in time you're not old war. enough to get drafted Huh? <laughs> well, when you're 18, you are. But uh, so they they sent this little card in the mail, and okay. I threw it away. Oh. So I got like two more of them <laughs> that I threw away, and then I get this uh, this I I I, uh, I what I'm assuming he was an MP. Okay. Come to the house. Someone of that stature came to the house, and he was like, "Hey, I'm with." So, and I was like. I thought he was a door-to-door salesman. I was about to shut the door in his face. He's like, sir, 
you need to sign this or I'm going to have to take you with me today. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? And, you know, I didn't know that I, I, you have like up to a year. Yeah, I think it's called have, selective service. Yeah, up to a year to sign. I'm like, wait. Yeah. I have to, I have to, I'm like selecting, th- this is my choice to, to put my name in the draft? No, it's not your choice. No, it's, it's not. Uh, it's, yeah, it's like, bitch, do it. It's, you know, that's, so it's, I mean, that's a little weird, but I saw, he goes, yeah, I'm going to have to take you to a fucking military prison. You know, I'm like, well, holy fuck. All right. I mean, uh, yeah, I don't want to do that. So. Yeah, it's called selective service. In case there's a draft, they have your name and address and you on file. Yeah. For when your time is ready. I don't remember this happening to me. No, because you're a female. Oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This okay. is different times. Yeah. Okay. This is a whole different it's century. Decade. It's still that Dec- way. Decade? Century? Is it know. still like it's that? It's still that way, I'm pretty sure. I've never heard of well, that. Well, they don't recently. they don't make women do the draft. So, uh, let's look it up. I believe it's called selective service. Yeah. It was weird. It was a very weird time for me. Yeah, it yeah, sounds I Wait, so you, is that how you heard about Gen Pop? <laughs> no, that was I think I heard about that. Don't from lie. I'm just Orange kidding. is the new black or something. Oh, I was a real detective. That show, man. That show. There's so many fucking shows that they're like I love that this show. This is what prison looks like and then you, I mean it's very real. Like that's the reality of is I, it? I, I didn't work in the female one. Okay. And there's Would a reason for that. No. Really? No, no. I was I was think I was, the men were more respectful. Well, the women facilities, at least from what I've heard, it's more of like a family. All right. You have a mom, a dad. A cult. Well, like in the groups, <laughs> like instead of it being gangs gotcha. in the prison, it's more of like family structures. And I may be completely bullshitting this. This is just what I've heard through the grapevine. This might not be correct at all. Yeah. Um, but like you have the mom, the dad, the cousin, the uncle, the aunt, you know, and it's like, you know, very family structured. You know? oh. So I'm like, ooh, that, that doesn't sound fun. Yeah, that, don't, <laughs> like, that don't sit with you. Yeah. Well, imagine somebody takes your daughter away. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to get really upset, but if somebody takes your bro and your gang away, like, yeah, 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 yeah. but if somebody takes my daughter away, I might, or my wifey, you know, I might be a little upset. Yeah. yeah it's fine. So here's your answer right here. All male Selective US, service system. Yep. Okay. All male U.S. citizens and immigrant non-citizens who like, are between. <laughs> wait a minute. Immigrant. Okay. Wait, what? I feel like immigrant this is... and non-citizens who are between the ages of 18 and 25 are required by law to have registered within 30 days of their 18th birthday. Okay. So question. So hold on. Is that like illegal immigrants? They're so what they're saying. Like, I mean, we need to look into this. You want to build a wall to keep them out, but if they're here, you're going to put them in the so, fucking army. Here's That's my like... thing. They've been they've been talking about doing this, and they're already doing it. Uh, they've already been talking about doing it in Germany and. Uh, uh, other major like G7 countries around the world. So I wouldn't be surprised if this might yeah, actually be true and just signed into law under uh, overnight one night, you know, under under people's noses. So, uh, but there's been a lot of developments on this uh, type of subject lately with uh, service to military and, and citizenship within the U.S. Wow. Yeah, a lot of debates about it. I personally feel like everyone should have to join for at least a year and be a be a um, a waiter or waitress for a year too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> those two things. In the service industry. Yeah, well, yeah. I didn't work. I was never a waiter or a waitress. I worked at a grocery store. Yeah, something along those lines. Oh, yeah. You know, just but so everybody can understand like, like how horrible. hard it is. Yeah, oh, <laughs> like it's both hard. H words, but yours is hard. hard. And mine was horrible because yeah. I was thinking about the people that come yeah. in and you have to serve. Yeah. Sucks. The hardest job I've ever had was being a waitress, like by far. Yeah. <laughs> like that is the hardest job. So like, if I'm ever with a group of people, we're going out to eat, and somebody's like off the cuff rude to a waiter or, or waitress, I'm like, this bitch. I'm fucking yeah. Dead. You're about to get a. <laughs> Listen, I worked around hard like, criminals. Obviously, don't know about what's about to, get to happen your hair to your snatched food. out of your fucking head. <laughs> like, I mean, it's just crazy, man. It's like this whole entitlement. It's like you have no idea how hard being a waitress is or waiter. Like, it's hard, man. It's a a grind. Like, your whole job depends on how people tip you. Yeah. That's wild. It's just wild. What is it? I think I was talking, we were talking to Jen about that last week. It's just like weird that, like, the people in the restaurant industry are paid on a different pay scale. 215 when I was in. Yeah, I think it's up to four now. But whoop, <laughs> whoop de doo. Yeah, that's and then you have bullshit. that ass that's like giving you pennies on the table. Four, four dollars. And when I, when I back in my day, when I started my first job, my my first wage I think was four fifteen an hour. Mine was six fifteen. So yeah, two dollar difference for every decade you serve. I guess, right. Huh? Mine was uh seven twenty five. Yeah, back in twenty. 
I hired him at his 11, first job. 2011. 2012. But yeah, and it's just weird that like as a fucking 15 year old kid, I was making what, you know, and I didn't, I mean, every now and then we, but we weren't allowed to get tips. They told us no tips. Yeah. But it's just, but that's like now, it's normal now. It's mm-hmm. like you just got to make tips. That's how you, that's how you, but then you got to split them with everybody. I know. You know, it's not just yours. I know you worked hard, but everybody else did stuff too. So guess what, bitch? Yep. Split that shit. You have to give a little bit to the kitchen and the dishwasher. Yeah. And- you know, but you know, honestly, it makes you. A, I think, I think any position in the service industry just makes you a more humble person. Hopefully, yeah. <laughs> hopefully. hopefully, you like to think that some people well, are probably not. So it much. definitely <laughs> changes you uh, mm-hmm. when it comes to viewing people in, yes. the, in the world. Yes, it's different in different situations for yeah. sure. Wow. Yes. That's a lot. We just went. All, <laughs> we went like side road, side road. You know, we did all kind of little. We fun. went through a convergence. Yeah. Divergence. And a divergence. <laughs> and a divergence. Yeah. I feel like we have this like, s- like, audience with him, but he's like he's involved, but yeah. he's not. He's like every so often he like whispers little sweet, <laughs> like little sweet nothings in your ear. It's kind of cute, and I'm like he's Just on my shoulder. To remind you that I'm still here. Yeah, it's, it's like he's on my shoulder. He's not sitting right in front of you. Yeah, he's yeah. like just on my shoulder. No, like, he's part of the show. Yeah, no, it's nice. <laughs> it's nice. I like it. It's like. He fills, he fills in that cute little gap of silence, like when he can tell that I'm struggling to remember something. I like it because I do that a lot. Probably my old age. Take your fucking alpha brain, bro. <sighs> <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I was gonna make another old man joke, but I gotta stop doing that. You be careful. You're coming. I'm coming into familiar territory yeah. here soon. You gotta be careful with those words, I'm man. Away. It's coming. It's. Co- I feel it. Yeah, I feel it you, on the daily. What are you, an ageist? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh, that could be two different things, buddy. Um. <laughs> oh dear, here we go. <laughs> Let me put my cap on backwards wow. for that one. Woo! No, when you hit about like forty-five, this is when you start going. I'm old, you know. Like then the, you're like, uh, is it not really? I wouldn't call it self-deprecation. It's just like I figure. I I feel like if I make the joke, especially because so many people that I hang out with are fucking young, you know. All the creatives that I know and have met, and um, you should come out to a collab event. Oh heck yeah, I'm down. Um, I don't really yeah. know anybody in Jacksonville. <laughs> well, you'll know people at that at that uh, after that night for yeah. sure. It's I mean everybody's so cool, but they're all like really young. Yeah, you'd fit in. It's like the nightclub. <laughs> yeah, it really kind of is, <laughs> but you get to, to create. You know, I mean yeah. everybody comes, all the models come dressed up. They've got the stage set. You can take photos. You know, they've got three little settings. And yeah. It's fun. It's a good night. And can I just take pictures of you taking pictures? I usually do that. That's, <laughs> that's usually what I do. I, I don't I don't fuck with model photography anymore, man. Yeah. I, I, that was how I started out. And, man, it, it burned me out yeah. fast. It burned me out fast. I did it for about a year. And I was like, oh, my God, like. They don't appreciate me. <laughs> yeah. Well, you were a model for a short time, weren't you? Until I got my sloth disease, yeah. Your sloth disease. Yeah, what I, is I call this? it my sloth disease. What is this disease that we have? So I have autoimmune disease, okay. and essentially it turns me into the, the creature of the night. That's what I'll call it. So wow. if you've ever seen somebody uh-huh. who has like anaphylactic shock, but like really severe, yeah, what's and it affects set, their whole body. What sets it off? Do we know? So stress. a variety of things. Honestly, stress is something I found like really high stress will will cause a flare. Okay. Um, so I try to keep my stress as, as low as I can, considering because stress, I mean, let's be real, like you can't really get rid of stress completely. I mean, mm. I have a dog. <laughs> not unless you're like a meditative yogi. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah. You, you see me, I'm just not. <laughs> it's fine. Um, you know, like I told you, I thrive on chaos, but mm. it's like, at what point is chaos hurting me? But if you're getting used to the chaos, mm-hmm. it's it's probably like where you live. It's like, I like this. This is where I live. This yeah. is my territory. This is my turf. It's less stressful to you. Mm-hmm. Like to yeah. someone like me, the situations you've been in would probably, I would probably break out in hives. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. It was funny. I stayed with a with a friend for a little bit, and, and she was just like, I just don't get how you do this. <laughs> and I'm just like, it's just what I do. Like, And I'm just like running around, like doing mm-hmm. like a chicken with chicken with my head cut off and she's just like i just don't get it like i don't understand yeah you know and i'm just like i don't know busy body i'm just used to it man and yeah so i mean when people see my day-to-day like on a real day-to-day scale they can't do it you know it 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 freaks them out like they they are scared of it and it it is like 
looking at like a crazy person. Well, but, it's the grind. I mean, it's yeah, the hustle, right? You yeah. have to. But it's like, you know, people don't really see that. You mm-hmm. know, they see just the on-site. Right. They don't see the in-betweens, you know, right. and the in-betweens is is chaotic you know it just is you know but i'm just so used to it and i've realized because of that i've gotten to where i am today so yeah um but uh yeah you're you're on that upward path i feel like i am but i I was telling one of my mentors uh mike brodsky i was like man i'm scared and he was like why and i'm like because i'm it's going too quick does Where that make sense going? like like i just feel like it's just going up you know like yeah. like the path i'm going i just wasn't ready especially when i went to cover the white house i was just mm. like oh my god I'm like what like yeah. i'm going i'm going in and then like when i got to the white house and i was like going through the security checkpoints and i'm like i've like freaking secret agents all around me <laughs> or secret service around me and i'm just like we're like, gonna give her a second pat now she's yeah. acting a little weird i was just like <laughs> no this is me normally oh, no. this is natural yeah oh i wanted to like once i got through the the gates I was just like, oh, my God. Like, me and a supervisor with Legacy, because he got to go, too. We mm. went for two different networks. And it was just so cool. But, like, I was just sitting there walking through the white, the Oval Office, or, the, excuse me, the uh, the White House lawn. And I'm just like, oh, my God, I just want to lay on the grass and just, like, roll around. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they kick you out. <laughs> oh, well, there's snipers <laughs> all over the place, you know. And it was funny, because I had my camera after the fact. And I'm like... I'm like, I want to look up and see if I can see them. But then I'm like, oh, that's probably not a good idea. And they're like looking <laughs> back at you <laughs> in a scope. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, I mean, it's like, Sniper I know, one. Sniper I know one. Do I, there. I have a shot. Am so, I clear for? I have a question. Were you the one that had left the cocaine in the White House? <laughs> oh, yeah. That was, <laughs> that was the second gunman on the grassy knoll. Dude, it was just, it was just wild, you know, like. When you, especially like when you don't expect something, like what I've learned in my life is you can't plan anything. Right. You really can't like Mm -mm. like life for me has been completely unplanned. And yeah, obviously I'm putting things into motion that are creating opportunities. Like I get that. But it's like you can't you can't control the next conversation you have. Right. And it's like the first like, for instance, the White House situation, the first conversation I had when I went to a Jags game, Mm. first conversation I had was in the elevator going up to the press box. Mm -hmm. It was Mike Brodsky. Mm. And I was like. Hey, everybody. And, you know, I can't remember if there was other people in the elevator or not. But I was just like, hey, you know, and I was just so excited. To you be. address the entire elevator? More than likely, yes. That's just how I am. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, elevator. I'm here. And, uh, you know, like, I'm just super happy and excited and just like full of energy. And and Mike Brodsky, he had talked to me and he ended up giving me like a whole full scope um tour of everything and we ended up talking like at the end of the game he gave me two books that he's written and just a stand-up guy and then from there just because i opened my mouth in the elevator he connected me eventually over time with florida national news and that conversation got me into florida national news which eventually opened the door to the white house you know it's just and miss america and it's just like just because i had one conversation yeah I didn't plan for that. Yeah. I didn't plan to get into pol- like that kind of stuff. Like politics in general? Yeah. I'm like, How do you feel about it? Uh, politics, I don't care for. Yeah. But um, photography, I do. <laughs> Covering <laughs> so I'm like, You are a yeah. photojournalist. I mean, yeah. That's, yeah, I think that's like, your passion, right? Yeah, I love it. Like, I'm a, I guess people have called me now because I'm getting into all the little niches of it is multimedia journalism yeah. or multi. Probably jour- closer to um, Yeah. Yeah, because I'm. I guess I, now I do video. I am just started writing articles, um, vid- cool. or photography, and then reporting. But I have no intention of getting into, like, the dirty stuff. I just want to get Why into, the, like, the... Like po- what? Like, Why you, not? You know, like, making making people out to be, you know, like, let's say... Okay, yeah. putting a bias on yeah, it. Yeah, I'm just yeah. not into that. Like, I want to talk about the good stuff, you well, know, the I, happy stuff. I, and, you know, so far, I have had the ability to do that. Well, I mean, I think it's good to cover sometimes the bad stuff, but mm-hmm. also to not put a spin on it or to just be unbiased about yeah. the situation. Yeah. And it used to be like that. I mean, a lot more like that. Mm-hmm. I mean, in my opinion, of course, I could be wrong. I was young. But I, it, it felt like people, like reporters, actually reported on things. It wasn't just like, okay, listen, you write that piece. We got to read it. Because yeah. we need to make sure you say the right things. Yeah. You know, like that's not no, bitch. I wrote this. Yeah. The Thanks. way I want to write it. If you want to, if you want to edit it for like gra- grammatical errors, cool. Yeah, that's actually what I do with Darrell, my uh, supervisor's legacy. Like, I'll I'll write my article. I just started that, by the way, and I turn it in, and I'm like, hey, revise it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> make sure you revise it because my grammar is jacked up. Like, yeah. I am not a writer. Even when I did reports for police work, pfft, 
terrible. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> you edit it. Like, at yeah. least as far as the the wording. Like, not don't change the words, but just, like, make it to where it's grammatically right. correct and I don't sound like a tard. Like, that's a comma, um, not yeah, a period. Yeah, comma, not a period. Exclamation point. <laughs> or not, yeah. this is a 500-word a run-on sentence. Yeah, Please oh, I love that. run-ons. <laughs> oh, I'm famous for them. Oh, my God, everyone's forever like, can you stop putting and, 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 and just put a period? And I'm like, okay. <laughs> do you do you put like a million exclamation points? Oh, I love exclamation points. I do too. Because it always, heightens the conversation. Yeah. You know, it's like I'm always screaming at people. Yeah, always. <laughs> oh, I hate texting. Like I always like I always am going to call somebody instead of texting. I can't stand. Yeah. It. Like is the. The well, messaging. your punctuation. It's oh, it's not, terrible. I'm like, you're going to think that I'm a fucking asshole or a weirdo. <laughs> or we. Yeah. Same. Exactly. But I, I I've learned that the talk to text has gotten much better. I don't even try. <laughs> no, I do, I do definitely do that for sure. Or uh, they got the little on the iPhone. You can do a little voice recording now, uh, and you can just send that so it doesn't fuck anything up. You just write, you just hit the button and record what you want to say. You can leave a FaceTime voicemail now. Can you really? Yes, you can. Get the fuck out. FaceTime voicemail. Voicemail. Oh, we got to do some some learning. That's a that's a new one for me. I want to. I'm I'm finna get fucking jiggy with that face a lot of people seeing some crazy shit scammers need to do that <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh, let me do fun. that to a scammer actually that would be fun that'd be uh, kind of interesting yeah. been trying to get a hold of you about your uh <laughs> your uh car what is it your warranty <laughs> uh, i was not gonna do the accent <laughs> sir bro i hate it when they do that because i'm like i answer and i'm like warranty my car was five hundred dollars <laughs> yeah. like why would i get a warranty on a five hundred dollar car off click like you know what i always say <laughs> sir this is a monitored line with the u.s navy base <laughs> click <laughs> click that's <laughs> a good one i like that i don't use See, that one i next used to time. just put my when the kids were little and they would call i just put the kid like a like when like my youngest when she was a baby baby okay i just put her i just handed her the phone and she'd get on now you know <laughs> they would hang up but I, I i would rather do that than me get pissed off that they're calling me I like teeter on that, like, cause I have, I obviously have profound anger issues, but do you? Oh, one hundred percent. I don't see that. Woo! You're so smiley and vibrant. Oh, yeah. and... That's the thing. I am very happy and kind until until until, you're not. until I'm not, and it's it takes a lot for me to get there. But when it does get there, be careful. <laughs> but it doesn't happen often. You wouldn't like me when I'm yeah, angry. like I don't know. I just you know I try to not be that person anymore. I learned a lot. Yeah. You know, especially what what sets you off? Ooh, what sets me off? <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Oh, I, Pat, we got to go. <laughs> I don't like narcissists, man. I don't know who's going to flip the cameras. <laughs> Woo! I don't like narcissists. No, I don't either. I, yeah. I, I, I attract them like a motherfucker, too. I do not know why. I I think a lot of guys Excuse don't my realize. Again. A lot Sorry. Uneducated about their, their selves and their, and like mm. what is, you know, being a narcissist or narcissist tendencies. You know, they don't know what those things are because. Like I started do like I started really researching it and looking into it when I I met you know quite a few people that were like you know maybe they're they're feminists or what have you hardcore mm -hmm. you know not like third Reich feminists but you know um, <laughs> <laughs> them ones are, them ones are a little weird I steer clear um, but I was like damn I've done some of this shit you know. Yeah. I'm sure we all have to some degree, right? right? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You know, it's not just men that are narcissists. No, there's a lot of. Trust me, I know plenty of women as well. Oh, and yeah. uh, you know, but as long as you have the ability to self-reflect, oh, you know, yeah. like so many people are not willing to do that and take a hard look in the mirror. Yeah, exactly. And it's like, man, I'm not perfect. I got a million things I want to work on, right. you know, and I'm not the best person in the world, you know. But but who has the time? Who has the time? <laughs> yes. <laughs> But, you know, but I think as long as you know that you have the ability to reflect, it's like, ah, okay, you're not that bad. Yeah. You know, because a real narcissist, bro, they ain't, they ain't going to reflect on shit. I think they they're ain't. a little sociopathic. Yeah. Or psycho is it psych psychopathic? There's two different things. But Sociopathic. He's always coming up with the words, man. Yeah, whatever it is. He's well, always that. Narcissists is when they like to talk about themselves. Yeah, yeah. man. Yeah. It's so like I got this really cool mug over here. Oh no, I'm being a narcissist. Get it? I like yeah, to talk about myself. Fucking narcissist. Would you like a top off, ma'am? Ooh, I'd love a top off. Yeah, what the hell? <laughs> oh, yeah. So let me ask you why. I, saved my, I don't take my top off until you the end. You are. 
totally cutting the background guy off. Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to beat his ass right now. So, like, why why don't you like politics? I'm just, because, it, it, Ooh, it, hold me. on. It, let me, let me, it. Let me, let me it. just give you a little spiel, and then I'll, I'll, I'll end it with why. I like the spiels. Right. So, it, I feel like in today's day and age with big media, yeah, there's a lot of alternate mm. media coming out on, on all these platforms, but with big media, it's so filtered by conglomerates. Yeah. Corporate. Corporate conglomerates. You are there constricted by what you can and can't say at that point, yep. right? So, why not talk about the bad shit that is truthful that isn't getting covered? Because there's obviously so much of it. I think in my own personal life, I talk about that. Okay. Um, Pre- professional life, it's... Okay. Yeah, like right. like when I go to like an environment or a scene or setting, you know, depend upon what it is, obviously. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm there just... To, to honestly get the the best coverage I can, you're, you're there to and report. Yeah. So, yeah. but I have had experience to 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 answer the question of why I got into I don't like politics. So there, I I realize there's agenda. Like mm-hmm. I I realized this a, a long time ago. It. Yes, and I realized I didn't want to be involved in that and so like i had two situations so one when i was a police officer Mm -hmm. and i was on a case i was essentially one of the first on the scene it was my report Mm. my coverage okay and it made headline news all right and there was a situation that happened within a school zone and it was there was uh pipe bombs called in Mm -hmm. at a neighborhood house okay and so they called in the bomb squad. They called in all the local authorities to clean up the mess, da da da. And like I said, it was my scene. It was my report. Like right. I was the person who wrote it all up. And what made the news after the fact of finding out that the pipe bombs were in fact not pipe bombs at all. Okay. They were just soldered pipes with water in them <sighs> in somebody's freaking fridge or freezer. And they were copper pipes. And it was just... Something that this person did. It was not bombs. Well, probably, guess probably what? Probably to keep liquor cold. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, it was just something that some some guy yeah. fabricated, like you weird, know? Weird quirk. But in the news, they just kept it like that. Like, like it was, uh, you know? And I'm just like, what? Never closed the loop on the story. It's not yeah, news, and I'm it's just not like- newsworthy if it, they just found out it's just water. Yeah, and it really made me mad. And I was just like, wow. So, it's agenda-based, man. It's just entertainment, headline news. Well, so, so, that was the first thing. And then when I was in corrections, shortly before that, there was a situation that transpired. And there was a guy that died in the facility. Mm. And I remember- seeing him there briefly before and they made it out to be that he was this bad guy and died from this heinous circumstance or whatever and it wasn't even that like it was just like a normal normal thing yeah. and the media made it to be out this big thing and it was just like no like was he like a high profile case or something i or? don't even remember it was years ago but i just how did like, he die i think he had like a heart attack or something so nobody it's not like somebody like yeah no i was over like the balcony or something yeah like i was actually in there when he passed away so it wasn't it wasn't like that but the news made it out to be this big proclaimed thing mm. again and like you said i'm there sweeps mm. week and it's just i don't like that you know the whole glamour and glitz of, yeah. of people's issues and problems i don't vibe with that yeah so like when it yes i may be i guess in the news now mm-hmm. but i won't stand for that type of stuff for me personally well, you're in a good spot right now because yeah. you can still control how you report yeah. the things that you it's report. me it's my you know it's, it's me and my image and which i think people they need to understand that there's enough crazy shit in the world to make yeah trust me it will be interesting if you just report on what is actually happening yeah oh sh- hell yeah you i 100 percent agree and and don't put your fucking spin on it don't put your little bias on it you yeah. know just keep it to the facts yeah and that's that's interesting enough and you will get people will watch yeah and it will build trust i feel like again yeah. like that's what i want i want to i want to have a loyal me personally like that's just what i want for yeah. myself though you know moving forward and i feel like i've done that at this point in my life yeah. like i i try to consistently do that across the the board right so but yeah it's, that's a really long way to answer your question i'm sorry no, <laughs> but, I right. yeah i just don't understand you know people skew things and it's funny because now that i've interacted with so many of these high profile people throughout the past year like I see people skewing things, and it 
and and I see the reality of it, and I'm just like, oh my god, like people believe this shit, right? You know, people believe this shit to a point where it it makes people want to vote for this person versus right. this person, and like, or not talk to this man, family member, or, yeah, you know, and that's so just, divisive. And yeah, that's just one aspect of the media. Man. I mean, yeah. not to mention social media and the psychological aspect. When it's you very scary. when you have people that are untrained, mm-hmm. you know, they're just you know, keyboard warriors yep. and they're reporting on things or posting things and, you know, and then a, you get a, a feed and then there's all these people commenting in the feed and everybody now has an opinion based on this person that doesn't know shit yeah. posting this one thing. And it's like, come on, man. It's grandstanding ideas. Yeah. So yeah. it's hard to, it's hard to tell what's like real yeah. or not, you know, what, and people don't, they're having a hard time, like, which side do I stand on? You know, which opinion should I take? Because yeah. if I take this opinion, well, then nobody's going to like me. And if I take this opinion, you know, whatever. You know, it's just... A tribe. It, yeah, it really, it, we're well, very I mean, tribal. Even with, like, these big figureheads, I mean, they take the chunks of the conversation right. that benefit whoever's narrative they want to benefit you know so you're not seeing the full scale of what the conversation is like even with this like there's going to be parts of this that you want to put out there on your your, you know but there's going (laughs) to but you know what i'm saying you chop it up to best benefit your platform your page i'm going to cut every time you said fuck (laughs) and put it all in like a little you know montage you know but you weird to your boss yeah but the difference between you and and it's going to have the live feed as well you see what i'm saying so it's like and it will you know, we all do live it. On YouTube. Yeah, but we all do it. You know, and it's like, what do you believe and what do you not believe? You know, right. but I think that's why people need to have their firm convictions of what right. they believe in, mm-hmm. and you have to look up the actual policies. You know, right? And people don't want to do that. No, they don't just want to see somebody else's opinion of the policy. They don't want to so actually they can go either and read the policy. Love them or hate them. Yes, because they're they don't line up. Their view doesn't line up with theirs. Yeah, like that's one of the reasons I don't really like to talk about politics. I can't stand because. <laughs> If I don't know a lot about something, I won't talk about it. Yep. I don't want to talk about it, especially on a platform like this. Yeah, I agree. Um, not saying that you know the the ten people that I influence. <laughs> hey, <laughs> you know I, I I love the quality and okay. content of your okay. show so well, far. I so love it. and uh, it's only going up from here, my friend. <laughs> only going up from here. That's uh, we hope. Oh, it is. Trust but, me. Um, but <clears throat> well, now that you're on the show, you definitely brought it to another level. Um, you are already at that level, my no, friend. We're in the, we're like a couple of tr- dumpster divers. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how <laughs> social media works. I'm still trying to figure. I just got a TikTok the okay. other day. I'm sorry. So I'm behind the curve. No, you're not. So, you're actually ahead of the curve. Everyone else is sitting on a park bench, fucking drooling out the side of their mouth man. watching TikTok. Uh, Dude, <laughs> I know, man. I just I don't understand social media, and I'm, I'm trying to figure it out. Like I'm like, okay, do I? Do I smile today and post a selfie? Like, what yeah. do I do? You know, yes. like every day. Yeah, every day. <laughs> I have a mentor. We want to see you smile every day. Yeah, I have a mentor in, vid- in videography, and he was like, you know, just be yourself. And yeah. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna try for that. We'll see yeah. what happens. But you know, authenticity that, is. I think that's we're we're missing that. Yeah. And I'm trying to do more of that. Yeah. You know, like when I started this podcast, it was just me, and yeah. I, I would come in here, I turn on the mic, I went no cameras. You know, it was. Just and I would talk about a new lens, or I'd talk about a technique or, with photography, or you know something I learned. Okay. And I would just do that. And then when I started doing these interviews, I was like, I can't, I can't. I'm not that guy. I realized that I was like putting on a voice. Hi, welcome to. And I used to call it Archetype Aperture. Yeah. Welcome to Archetype Aperture. My name is Jim. I'm yeah. the host of the show. You know, whatever. Yeah. You know I'm what still I'm, doing that with reporting. I'm trying to figure out yeah. how the hell to get rid of that. Honestly, yeah. I think I just embraced like. A better side of my actual authenticity the other day for the first time. Yeah. But it takes getting comfortable, you know. And well, because it's the social norm yeah. to to do that when you're yeah when you're when you have a microphone in front of you and you're inter, you know you're interviewing someone yeah. that's fucking Miss America or whatever you yeah. know you're like so Miss America hi. hi. I just love what you did with all those batons. Yeah, you know, whatever it is, and and <laughs> you, you just there were no batons. Well, I say that that's a that, I ripped that from George Carlin. He did a piece. Of uh, course you did. He said uh, I don't know who that is. Either. Oh my fuck! What? He's, I'm sorry. Well, he's dead now, but he was a, a very funny comedian. 
<laughs> he's he, younger than me and he knows who yeah. he is so i must really not you'll go and look him up he's hilarious yeah. but he he's talked about he's like, i think he would always say weird wacky shit like this he's like, i think the miss the, the the miss american pageants that that that, that didn't win should keep coming back every year until they win he said like, that could get that could get real Real scary after a while. <laughs> I just want to work on world peace. Yeah, yeah. Sit down before you fall down and pick up all these damn batons. <laughs> okay, I get you now. So. Yeah, they actually had a, I think, 1969's uh, America, uh, Miss America there. Is she still hot? Dude, she was in a wheelchair trucking along that stage like nobody's business. I mean, she was a baddie. Yeah. She was. Like, they all were. I think they had up until... Smash. Gosh, 2000. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, Nothing. dude. I'm joking. I think like Wood. 2004 or something. They had a bunch uh-huh. of different years that came through. Alumni. And yeah, and you know, it was just kind of neat, you know, cool. to see all the different faces and they tell their individual stories. Cause you know, obviously when they were doing it, it's completely different. Oh, totally. Um, you know, but. Uh, I never understood the Miss America or Miss Universe or Miss World. I never understood that. I didn't either. Bread I learned more about it in this experience than I ever did before. Bread and like, circus. I thought it was always what? a very uh, bread and circus. Yeah, like the Roman Empire. You oh, know, bread yeah. and circus. Yeah. And, yeah. I just always assumed it was just this like glamorized, sexy competition. You know, yeah. and these women are ditzes. No, like I said, they're some of the most oh, successful, no. smart, intelligent women I've ever heard or talked to in my entire life. I felt honored. So to speak So I to love these girls. that part. I yeah. love that. I love it that really it's not cool. just a, a it's a, not you know like a looks competition. No, not. I mean, they're gorgeous, <clears throat> but they're brilliant. Why aren't some of those ladies becoming president? You know? I know. I maybe, maybe, maybe they'll it's probably. You know why? And this is another Henry Rollins quote: "They're not full of shit enough." That's the thing. It's a politician. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> <laughs> we can say things. We're not, gonna We're not talking about specifics. We're not gonna talk about <laughs> right, no, we won't talk about specifics because you know you might have a coverage with certain people. Wait, let me do what you did the other day. Oh yeah! <laughs> wow, how did you do that? Okay, you're better than I am. Yeah, no, mine's not. My gargle is not is not fancy. Well, you know, I'm a fancy motherfucker. You are. You are fancy. What are we even talking about Pinkies right now? Out. Pinkies Pinky. out, motherfuckers. Pinky. I don't know what we're talking about. That's okay, okay, let me at least for the the photographers in the in the room. Um, well. In the stream. Who's, in is the there stream. someone out here? I talk to that camera <laughs> like it's a person, okay? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. And I spike the camera. That's what you call it when you make a co- eye contact with the camera. I spike it I all haven't the done time. that. Am I supposed to do that? <clears throat> you can. You can talk to the camera. Talk to the people. Hi, guys. <laughs> you look beautiful today. I love your couch. It's fantastic. Isn't wow. It? They're probably sitting on the toilet watching <laughs> on their phone. <laughs> I mean, that's usually where I'm watching, but... Um, go to jail. Yeah, no, go to kidding. jail. <laughs> Take that cover off your window. What are you doing in there? Go to jail. Okay, sorry. <clears throat> sorry. Sorry, guys. The coffee makes me a little phlegmy. It's okay. Uh, what the fuck was I saying? I don't know. It I'm happened sorry. again. I know. <laughs> yeah, in old I know, age. I, know, I, I can't really end this time. Fine. I forgot to. Yeah. If, 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 he's, if he's, you know, had a few or whatever. Then what are you talking about? I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm not trying to out you. You want some planters, planters, pe- <laughs> cashew peanuts? Oh, they're all gone. Shit. Does he have them? He didn't oh. even share. Yeah. yeah. That was my dinner. So rude. That was your dinner? Yeah. Speaking of dinner, I have sushi in the car and I forgot to put it in the fridge. <gasps> Dude. It's fine. You want to go get it and put it in the fridge? No. And then we're live, man. Okay. So we can bullshit for five no, minutes. No, no. It's fine. I'll just eat funky fish when I leave. How long has it been in there? I don't know. Well, probably as long as I've been here. <laughs> Well, that's not bad. <laughs> okay, we're good. I think we can, we can I mean, uh, it's fine for a little while. It's fine. Yeah. It's fine. If it's that fake crab shit, I think you'll be okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's it's, it's su- Ahi tuna and salmon. Oh, oh yeah. Not. You're probably fucked. <laughs> so you're going to shit yourself on that. <laughs> you do not eat that. It's going to give you bad, bad shit. Yeah, don't shit yourself during interview. Violent it's not, not be good. It's fine. <laughs> That'd be cr- quickest career. I could give you some of my orange In- chicken. <laughs> Interviewing. <laughs> Interviewing the damn uh, uh, first lady tomorrow, and I'm like taking dumps in my backyard. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm, oh, this I'm just clenching. I'm just clenching, lady. I'm yeah. sorry, first lady. She'd probably be like, "We've all been there, darling." No, she wouldn't. <laughs> hey, she wouldn't. You'd admit be to surprised. That. Well, I don't mean she wouldn't admit it to a reporter. I know, right? <laughs> Is that me? I don't know. I forget sometimes. I've shit my pants at least twice in my life. Wow, the room! I just killed the fucking room. <laughs> I was I was just trying to count how many times I did. 
I'm not commenting because I haven't done that. Okay, so I I'm mean, not, it I'm not, happens. I'm not okay. adding to this conversation. I mean, we all kind of did it, it at won't... one point because, yeah. like, I just did course. it the other day, so I'm at least at eighty. I mean, but technically, we all wear diapers, right? <laughs> well, and eventually, we'll all do it again. Yes. Yeah. And my children will have to wipe my ass. Yeah, I don't have any of those, so I'm fucked. <laughs> I don't have anybody to wipe my ass, Damn. man. Oh, well, it is what Get it you is. a good buddy. I know. Yeah. I got some pretty good buddies, there so I think go. we'll be fine. They would probably take care yeah, of you. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Somebody would take care of you. Maybe. But, you know, some. I don't know. The older and older I'm getting, I'm more and more stubborn, so I don't know if people would want to be around me in 30 well, years. So you know, we'll see. When, when you make it to, what what is your, like, long-term goal with this media thing? Bro, I don't even know. <laughs> I, mean, I hate it when people ask me that shit too. I mean, like, I could I just never know what's gonna happen tomorrow. Yeah, that's the thing. Like I told you before, like I can't plan. Every time I plan, it's doomed to fail. I mean, like, but like, where would you like to? Like, what would be your fucking ultimate dream job? Like, own your own media network, uh, create your own media network. Uh, I mean, you want to okay. be like in Jimmy Fallon's place? I really want Legacy Maker Sports Network to become all its. That's that, that it could, should be, yeah. That it should be because it, our team works way too damn hard, right? And uh, you know, I and the, like I said, the supervisor, the, the owner of this company, I mean, he is the most solid, credible, authentic, nice guy, mm. nice human you'll ever meet. And he's such a team player and he loves his people, yeah. And like, I've never let's just put it this way I've never worked for anyone for this long that I've I'm I feel like I'm never gonna leave, yeah, no matter what. Like, yeah. I, I mean, I just I want him to flourish in a mm-hmm. way that. I don't even know how or where, but I know it's going places. Like, yeah. I just see it. I see. Well, let's hope. Yeah. So, I mean, as far as planning for the future, I mean, I want the best for him mm-hmm. and I want the best for his company. Well, you know, I, yeah, that's a tough question. I hate asking that, but I felt like I needed to. No, you're good. Time. You're good. I mean, I, I just, I'm where I'm at is I'm all about newness, new opportunities and new experiences because I've almost died a couple times like in my past. So like when it comes to like the bucket list, yeah, like I'm all about the bucket list. I've seen like you've skydi- you've skydived, yeah, I'm and... a licensed skydiver. Um, so you can jump without people. I can. Strapped to you, I can, and it's scary as fuck still. But yeah, I it never is one understood of those why people would jump out of a perfectly good airplane. Uh, fucking freaks. <laughs> We're all freaks. That's for sure. I mean, I don't judge. I, I mean, mean but, you know, honestly, I think for me it was more of a letting go. Mm. Um, you know, and and that's what Will Smith said. Wait, really? Yeah. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. That's funny. Will Smith? I love Will Smith. Minus the whole slap thing. <laughs> oh, you thing. know who Will Minus Smith is. Minus the whole is. slap thing. No. Um, no, I was gold. Yeah, he's anyways, we're not gonna talk about that either. <laughs> so um, Hey, that's not politics. I mean, like okay, I but it's still bartering. I'm, like, I'm like, just kidding. It's fine. I'm not gonna get into that. So, um, but yeah, no, just like the whole like ability to let go. I was terrified of heights, like like profoundly terrified of heights, like still profoundly terrified of heights. But what I've realized is it's all in this noggin thing. And, uh, you know, if we have the ability to obviously don't be stupid, like go yeah. to the training, and, yeah, like, yeah. like do ground school, pay the money to get certified in the correct way. Don't just go jump out of a plane with a would parachute. You ever, would you ever do one of them squirrel suits? Oh, one hundred percent. That's goal. I'm doing that one day. See, you have oh, a goal. Oh, oh it's oh, crazy. it's happening. Oh, psh, hell yeah! See, dude. now that's nutty. Um, did so, you know like was it the first the people that pioneered that? Nine out of oh, ten no. of them died. Yeah, they all, like almost all of them died. Does not surprise like, me. Ninety yeah. percent fatality rate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't surprise. But me. now there's guys like threading the needle through fucking airplanes with that damn thing. Oh yeah, like, that Red Bull guy. Yeah, Holy dude. Holy shit, man. Yep. I want to do all the things. All the things that scare me. All the things that people think is just fucking nuts. I want to do it all. Like yeah. I want to do base jumping. I mean, anything. Anything that's like fucking you, crazy shit I want to do. Have you watched them guys that that get up on them skyscrapers and like skateboard around the edge? Uh, no, I'm not doing that. Have you seen it though? But I'm also not a skateboarder. My so. palms get fucking sweaty. Yeah, no. Now nah, I'm not doing that. Yeah. I'm not, unless if I have a parachute strapped to me and I get into base jumping. These guys do don't it. have shit. Yeah, no, I'm not doing that. I That's watched this stupid. dude the other day. <laughs> There's a difference. I'm not fucking stupid. <laughs> this guy the other day. You could probably pull a, a video up so to show her. I don't know if you can show the rest of the people. I think I know exactly what video you're talking about. There's this guy. He was on a skateboard, handstanding on the skateboard. No. And on the edge of a building, on like literally, and he had a fucking GoPro on his head. Nope. So you get that uh, that POV. Well, he wants the freaking viral content and cool. Yeah, you'll get that, but you're not gonna care if you're dead, man. Right. It's like, I mean, I guess there's something to be said skydiving. I, I mean, but it's not. 
it's dangerous, but it's not dangerous at the same time. Like you have two parachutes strapped right. to your back, you know, you know, and the percentage of you getting into a fatality in the car is higher than getting into an accident in the, in the air, you know? I think there's actually- That's what they say. Even like shark bites, you have a <laughs> higher chance of getting- Oh, yeah, f- absolutely not. You have a higher chance of getting killed by a horse than yeah, getting bit by a shark, you know? So- You have what? You have a higher chance of getting killed by a horse than getting bit by a shark. What are you? Are you? Go, are you trying to look for video? Yeah, I was trying to look for. Video. You're on Yahoo again. That's why. Why is it fucking doing? Yahoo's so know. cool though. Remember Yahoo days? Yahoo. Yeah, I can't believe it actually still a thing. Why don't you just ask Jeeves? Oh, it still does a Dropbox <laughs> thing. It's all right. It's so funny when people say, "Oh, my name is da 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 Yahoo.com." I'm like, okay. No, you you typed in Dropbox. Go, type yeah, in. I need to type in Google and then. Oh, it there, it goes, uh, there it is. There it is. Giggle. Okay, now we can continue to talk while you Sorry. look stuff up. Yeah, so it's not an awkward science. Uh, we'll silence. But anyway, you should skydive. I don't ever want to skydive. I'll encourage you. We'll do it together one day. I don't. Mm. No, you, you'll you'll be tandem to someone, and I'll jump out and I'll hold your little hands, and we'll be like, "Yay, it's so fun!" No, nope. it'll be fun, man. We got this. My girlfriend wants to do it. Do she, it. I don't. It'll I don't be, like. I don't like roller fun. coasters. I don't like um, sky. I don't want to ever. Anything you like, you don't like. You just got to try it one time. I fucking hate chocolate cake. I better go get some. Yes, it means you have to get chocolate cake. <laughs> Damn it. Have I you ever some. done the tunnel? The indoor tunnel? What's that? Like, like that an thing that you posted the other day? Yeah. It looks really pretty. Like the way they do it. Like you've seen. Like right, I That saw... takes thousands of hours Holy to get fuck. like that. Yeah, that's not like something that just happens overnight. Like, yeah. But the tunnel, it, just to experience a little of it at first, you should try that. Oh it's like God. a two-minute thing. There's not even enough to put the skateboard on. What are you fucking doing? No. <laughs> yeah, he's stupid. Oh. <laughs> what a, What I, is he doing? I have no interest in watching that. Ah! <laughs> oh. Jesus. <gasps> Fuck don't, don't that. Don't fucking tell me. He How about is not a- holding on to anything right mm-hmm. now. How about a? That's a whole can of fuck no. No, I have no interest. In that. He's got a parachute on his back or something. Like, I don't know, man. Because base jumpers, I imagine, do stuff like that. <clears throat> but pff, that's just. And then they fake a fall and then they throw yeah. their shoot. Yeah. <laughs> Gosh, that's crazy. Uh-uh. Fuck all that noise. I bet he's got a parachute on his back. Uh, he can't I don't be this. I'm gonna close it out though. I'll call that now. But, but huh? anyways. We're gonna fuck all that noise. Okay. Sorry about that. We're, yeah, we're like, mes- I was mesmerized. At Talk about sweaty, sweaty palms. palms. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, well, I got my my back is sweating now. <clears throat> yeah, no, I have Isn't no interest. Scary? I have we can look up more sweat. if you want. We can work. No, up no, a no. Here. no, we're good. <laughs> no, we're I, good. Now I regret telling you to look that up. <laughs> we're good. We're <laughs> now good. I really I have no no desire to do that. It's not. You just need a good buddy, <sighs> a good encourager. Everyone, Supporter. I love supporting and encouraging people. I'll be that buddy for everyone you. Everyone who's ever jumped out of a plane has always told me that same fucking thing. Mm-hmm. What now? What I will do. Is I do I have always wanted to get my dive license and go diving. I do that too. So we'll yeah. do that next time in town. See, I feel like there's more control down there. <laughs> you know, you're not fucking falling. So if you like, you know, go up quick, you realize your lungs like pop. Yeah, you get the <laughs> yeah, or your you get air bubbles. That in your doesn't blood. scare you, but that shit does. No. Like, oh my god, that's no. wild to me. That shit scares me. Like, mm-mm. Mm-mm. no, I've always been intrigued by the water. Mm-hmm. I'm more of a, uh, you know, water baby. Yeah. Yeah, part fish. You are part fish. Yeah. You look like part fish. Thank like you. Like you have a tail and everything. Hmm. I don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> you know you could be a merman. Oh? Yeah. Could I? Yeah, you could. Yeah, you totally have the, the look. Oh, David I don't Hansel have Hall. the body for a merman, uh, but you I You never know. Look. You never know. <laughs> you never know. I'm pretty sure... <laughs> There's a whole community of 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 mermen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some have dad bods. You just eat a lot of sardines. That's all. Yeah, I'm just saying. It was I'm fucking gym again. Fucking eating up all the sardines. Fat fuck. Fucking <laughs> fat ass merman. <laughs> merman community though, and mermaid community is pretty cool. It's ha- pretty cool. Huh? It's it's a whole thing. Oh wait, are yeah. you being fucking serious? No, I'm being serious. Wait, like, like that's yeah. I'm, I'm like the people that dress up as mermaids. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I've done I, it a I little a, bit, but nothing crazy. I had crazy. to clarify because yeah. I didn't know if you were like. There's real mermaids. Oh, well, not real, but, you know, like, the authentication of it is, uh, is a little different. We're using this browser now. What oh. the fuck is that? 
Oh God! Just keep talking. Okay. Yeah, get a uh, get you a little fake tail and go in the pool with a friend and make sure you don't drown. Obviously, uh, and there's a whole movement. To, it's hard actually. Hmm. Like I got hired to be uh, the Little Mermaid at a kid's birthday party, and the, had a silly. I think it was a silicone tail, and uh, I was like having a great time in the shallows. But then I went to the deep end, and all the little girls and boys were like, "Ariel, Ariel!" and they like attacked me and I was drowning with my tail. <laughs> like, I was it's like, not helping. I was like, it's not helping. Please give away little kids. It was, it Is was... that where those pictures came from? Yeah, when you were in yeah, the... okay, yeah. I yeah. saw those. Yeah, yeah. It, it's it's a fun it's a fun thing. Like there's a whole community of it. See that oh, wow. seems yeah, it fun. Says, in recent years a growing number of gleefully f- flocked to mermaid uh, oh, excuse me, let me restart this. In recent years a growing number have gleefully flocked to mermaid conventions and competitions form Local groups called Pods launched mermaid magazines and poured their savings <laughs> into multi million dollars. Wow. And the okay. photography community for it is next level. Mm-hmm. Especially if you want to get into diving. Wow. Get you your dive cert, mm-hmm. get you camera gear for underwater yeah. and go to one of these things and you will get the most incredible underwater oh, photography of mermaids. Like it is so neat. Like yeah. I would love to get into that one day because it's action, you know, they're moving around. Oh, yeah. They're not really posing. No, um, underwater photography is it's so cool. Very cool. And if you I mean it's I imagine very difficult. Oh, yeah, because there's like this whole, you know, obviously you have to, you know, uh, maintain your your levels while doing that. Right. But in the shallows, it wouldn't be bad, like with the coral reef behind the mermaids. I've seen a lot of killer. Yeah, I I, I do. I want to do like all I want to I want to do it all. As you far will. as photography goes, you will. <clears throat> Not all, as far as jumping out of fucking airplanes, but I. <laughs> well, like I said, we're, we're friends now, so yeah. Everybody, you think you're gonna drag me on a plane? I've been trying. I I'm telling you, I haven't encouraged anybody yet, but one day I will. And you're gonna find that one gullible bastard, and you're gonna yeah. get him up there. Well, and- I try not to talk about my experience with it because that might turn people away. Because I have had some really scary situations. And <laughs> well, we're on a now podcast. I'm gonna ask. But, yeah. <laughs> well, my, we're on okay, a podcast, so we'll really. talk about my first jump. Yes, please. So, my very. You're still here, so that's good. Yeah, so my very first jump. Hmm. All right, now keep in mind, I've never done tandem, which okay. means you had somebody strapped to your back. Okay, and they're in control of the safety maneuvers. They right. pull the chute and everything. You never did that? I never did that. My first jump. Oh, your first jump. My very first jump. Naturally, you would think it would be that kind of a jump. Right. Right? Well, when I went through ground school, had to. yeah, that's what I thought too. So I go through the ground school. I do the t- there's like a 15 minute training you do in one of those wind tunnels, so you can kind of figure out your your body positioning in right. the air and everything. Right. And you do all the safety classes and and I'm thinking like day of the jump that I'm gonna jump with someone attached to my back. And, yeah. And then it was like, and they were like, no. I'm like, what? And they're like, <laughs> I'm like, but I've never jumped out of a plane before. And they're like. I don't feel safe. They're like, I'm in danger. They're like, you're fine. Like, it, yeah, it takes the fun out of it. You got to do it on your own. I'm like, serious? So I'm like, oh my gosh, like this fucking sucks. Like, cause I'm like questioning, like, what the fuck am I doing? Like, I shouldn't do this. And, and I went for it. And now granted, I wasn't by myself. Like I had them with me, like I had, but they weren't strapped to me. They were in the air. And once I pulled, they're gone. Yeah. I'm on my own, you know? Well, fuck. So, well, anyways, I go, and there's three things you look for after you, you pull your chute. <laughs> you you pull your chute, chute goes up, and you look up. And you, is it there? <laughs> is it square? And is it steerable? Okay. The first question I asked, it's not there. <laughs> oh, and I'm oh, like, oh, shit. my God. And I'm, like, cussing myself out. In the air behind my helmet, thinking like, "You stupid idiot! You should have paid attention in class. Like, you're gonna die." What the fuck do I do? What the fuck do and, I do? Uh, you know, so it's there, but it's like all wrapped up. You know, oh, it's no. like all intertwined, and I'm just like thinking, oh, "This is it. I'm gone. I'm a goner." But and you have a secondary, right? You do, but I was so in my head about it, like I was just thinking, "Oh my god, I'm gonna die." <laughs> Well, you got to, like, cut that thing away first, right, so, before you pull your secondary? Well, no, not necessarily. I think, I think. Um, it depends on the situation because you can try to get yourself out of this one and try to make it square. Yeah, but okay? you only have so much fucking time. I know. So, well, it's this not all, like you can sit there and... Yeah. Un- well, this all happened in, like, knots out. probably a couple seconds, like, all these thoughts. Yeah. But I'm literally thinking, I'm going to die, and I'm like, ah. And, uh, but for some reason, I looked up one more time, and I'm thinking, oh, my God, it looks like a swing set. You know, like when you're on the swings and you're spun up. I don't know why. And I'm like, okay, I can do this. And I start kicking. I kick my little feet. 
and I like I'm starting to spin out of it and now it's like it's unraveling and I'm like oh my god it's gonna open <laughs> and it opened and I'm like oh, I'm not gonna die <laughs> and then I'm like I'm so mad <laughs> I'm just so mad. And Why I, are you mad? Because I just realized how f- I was going to die. Like, in my brain, I was going to die. Like, that's what Were I was like thinking. you, like, let down that you didn't? Oh, well, no. I'm, I'm, oh, I'm, I mean. But it was funny because when <laughs> I eventually, because I still had a, 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 a microphone or whatnot. Oh, shit. So <laughs> once I get to the level that they can actually hear me, they're talking to me. And they're kind of, like, coaching me, like, when to make my maneuvers right. to get to the ground. I'll never forget it. I I safely got down to the ground. I flared and I was fine. And I landed safely. And I get down to the ground. I ditch my helmet and I start going off at everybody. (laughs) I was so bad. Who the fuck packed this shoe? I I was just thinking like, this is fucking stupid. Fuck all you. I was supposed to have a strap on. I was just so mad. I'm a guy. Yeah, I was just so (laughs) mad. And then they encouraged me and I... Pack, got my shoot pack and I did, did it, it again. again. I was like, "Fuck!" The second time was a it little was better. fine. It was perfectly fine. Still, nah. it just that was the first time I jumped out of a plane. You Fuck. know how you can get me to jump out of a plane by coming with me. No, on this journey. No, <laughs> did not convince you from this conversation. No, no, no. You just, <laughs> you just more, more morbidly fucking. You just scared. Well, the yeah, mic. but statistically, the odds are never in my favor. <laughs> Yeah. Like ever. Well, you know, the odds are in your favor. I always have um, fucking shit happen to me, so it's fine. I mean, the only way I'll jump out of a plane is if that motherfucker is upside down and on fire. <laughs> okay? Like literally. Fucking the pilot's dead. And like bodies are flying out the hole in the fucking plane. And there's one parachute and I'm the only one alive. I hope there's water. And so I'm like, fuck, I guess I got to jump out of a plane with a parachute and I'll figure it out. Or motherfucker, I won't, you know. <laughs> I'm glad you think there's just ample parachutes on the plane. <laughs> in my head, in this scenario, that's the way it goes. They're just in every seat stacked up. They should. Yeah. At least give us a, you know, like, what is that flotation device? What is that really? What is that? It's funny. Every time I get on a plane now, I always am, like, missing my parachute. Yeah. I'm like, I really wish it was just sitting with me comfortably like, my in will my be. lap. And they're so heavy, too. Like, yeah. you don't realize, like, how heavy they are. Oh, I imagine. They're freaking heavy. I imagine. It's yeah. like the size of a house. <laughs> all packed into a little sack and then there's two houses packed yeah. into a sack yeah so, yeah mm. anyways what was it billy Connolly? he's a, another comedian you should look up he was talking about he's like i don't know who that is either he's like <laughs> you know t- he was talking about the, the people when they do their little thing on on planes and they're like and then you tie it on the side in a double bow and you know <laughs> and then you pull the cord and it'll inflate and they're like he's like why he goes he's like the the flight attendant should say well this will do you no good at all <laughs> You know, but in when, in a thousand years, when archaeologists find you, they'll think there was a river here. <laughs> that's awesome. I mean, basically, that's pretty much all that shit's for. Because yep. I don't, I think if you go, I mean, I think there's been lucky people that have been able to skitter into safety and, you know, be able to float away on their little flotation device. But mm-mm. there's not enough room for Jack on the door. It's all right. You're going to be a skydiver before you know it. I convinced you. I appreciate your uh, your confidence. I do. What about our background noise? Is he a skydiver? Does he want to skydive? Oh, I'm sure he would do it in a heartbeat. Do what? Skydive. You're going to skydive? Yeah, with I would skydive. See? Look at that. I would. Well, he's not a fucking pussy. I pissed out the back <laughs> oh of his. I pissed out the back of a fucking C-17. Did you just? Oh man. Yeah, hell yeah, I would skydive. Were you a marine? No, I was army. Army. I, I was about to guess. <laughs> army. He's like, Marine Aren't army. they all the same? Nah, nah man. Oh, oh, you can't do that I, to me. I'm my fuck. diet does not consist of crayons. Oh, Skewers. man. Yeah. All the Shit. hate in this room just you know turned what? towards me. I'm I don't just... even get me started. We actually have, <laughs> like, you know, a fun test we take. I don't know what the army takes. They take, like, a little. Coast Guard is, like, different, different. Coast Guard is a whole breed of its own. Yeah. But to be fair, it's because we. We always have a job to do. <laughs> yeah, you're always on the like, yeah, the watch. Yeah, it seems like it's, it's, di- it's different. We're not recalled. We always have work. Like we uh, we can get of... recalled, but we have work. Like 20%. there's a lot of coast around the United States. Yeah, it's fun. It's everywhere. It's, fun. it's everywhere. My last station was a uh, Guantanamo Bay. Yeah, how was that? Actually, it was fun. Yeah. <laughs> I loved Guantanamo Bay. <laughs> didn't get waterboarded or anything? No, I didn't get waterboarded. Mm. I made it out alive. I did get a <laughs> disease there, but, you oh. know, that's fine. That's where I got sick, so. Oh, okay. Um, I didn't know if it was like a venereal. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> 
Wow. Uh, uh, man. Here so we sorry. go. So no, sorry. You're good. You're so good. Sorry. Man, there's something in the water down there, though. That's for sure. Is but there? There's, well, I just feel Montezuma's like that. Montezuma's Revenge. Like, there's so many people get sick down there. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> what did you say? Montezuma's Revenge. You ever heard of that? No, you did not. You're not supposed to drink the water there. <laughs> oh my gosh, no! That it, you actually can, but I don't think you should. Honestly, that's less water. I mean, it's like a Camp 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 Lejeune. They, uh-huh. I mean, yeah, they have yeah. all these things coming out now, yeah. and it's like, man, I guarantee I'm going to be part of a lawsuit with Gitmo soon. Like, yeah. I just gar- I put money on it. It's coming. It's you coming. Your, you get your thirty six ninety five after they <laughs> split it amongst eight billion people. Eight billion people. However many millions of people. Oh yeah. Yeah. But yeah, Fucking... it was fun. We called it a station vacay or ah. station vacation. Okay. Yeah. So. You ever got the keys? Not in the keys at all. Oh, I love the keys. Yeah. Were you, were you ever stationed down there? No, no, anywhere? I was never stationed. There's a, the keys. Is there a station in the keys? Oh, I mean, they have a navy base down there. Oh, do they? Yeah, they have yeah. a nice coast guard base down oh. there. Yeah. Hey, I have a lot of friends who were down there. They loved it. Hmm, that yeah, sense. that's one of the fun ones. There's not a lot. I mean, I'm not saying all coast guard bases are fun, but yeah. the keys are apparently one of the fun ones. Oh yeah. And uh, I like the keys. Yeah. We vacationed there, and our Airbnb was a fucking boat. That we had, is so. We cool. had to pontoon. Paddle in a pontoon boat, or not? A, was it a pontoon? A fucking I don't know. One of those little things with two seats in it. You know, in the yeah. Boat. I don't know. Boats trigger me. Now. But we had to like paddle out to the boat, and when we wanted to go get out and go somewhere, we had to paddle back to the fucking dock, <laughs> and it was like probably about a mile away from where we were at. Oh wow, that is intense. So that's like going and staying at a lighthouse. Uh, yeah. You ever heard about those the Airbnbs that no, they do at lighthouses? I would love yeah. that. There's a couple of them. Yeah. But it's, it's like really secluded. Oh, it I mean, was dope. I mean, yeah. it was definitely some of the best sleep. Uh, not the first night. The first night kind of sucked. There's no AC, and it was raining. Oh, that's kind of uh, cool, what? though. No, because oh. water leaks into that motherfucker all over. Uh. But the second night, it was clear, and it was a nice breeze rolling through. We let we opened every hatch, and I actually slept out like on the on the in the main body of the boat, just on one of the. They had like these little uh, beds on the side. Like, you know, where you sit, and then I just kind of kicked back and laid there, and I was, like, sleeping under the stars, nothing covering me, you know, that's, just to sail. That's awesome. It was dope, for sure. And then I caught a lot of little sunrise, you know, thing. It was good, man. I I, had, I love that fucking place, but I wouldn't live there. You should buy a boat. I want to buy a boat. I owned, or excuse me, I rented a sailboat, and then I owned a yacht. Yeah, before I got married, I was this close. Uh, uh, my mom was dating this guy. And he had a, I can't remember how big it was, but it was, uh, it was, he lived on it, on, on a boat. And, yeah. You know, Bust he, out another thousand. Huh? Yeah, you know, that's what a boat stands for. <laughs> what? I'll never do that shit again. Boat what? stands for bust out another thousand. Yeah. Oh. Well, anyways, I didn't, I mean, yeah, I've heard that. Oh, it's bad. But he, he lived on this boat. And then when he started dating my mom, she was like, uh, we need to, you need to live in a house. So she, he went and bought a fucking house. And I was like, what are you doing with that boat, dog? You know, I was like, I will totally buy that fucking thing. But, yeah. Never say never. Still possibility. Oh, yeah. Well, we're our goal is to get, uh, to do bus life, you know. I'm selling a 1978 Volkswagen bus. Pop top. Well, we want to get a bigger, a little just bit bigger than that. Just if you want one. <laughs> yeah, we want something a little bigger. You know, we I might end up actually just getting an RV instead of having. Oh, yeah, no, it's completely understandable. Instead of having, like. Which I love, the, I, like all this, I bitch about all this shit that's going on, but I'm customizing this motherfucker the way I want it. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, you can have a new house built or you can have a redo the house exactly the way you want it done. And that's, you know, but yes, I, so like that was the idea behind Bus Life, but I know us. And if we start refurbishing a bus or renovating it into a house bus thing, we'll never finish. Oh, it's it's a, a never-ending project. Yeah, would we'll never finish it. So I'm just getting an RV that's done already. Yeah, and then just you can just what you do is you get get it like that in this whatever condition it's in. Just make sure it's mechanically sound. Yeah, and then from there you just see what what you got going on, and you're like, okay, let's start. What with do we need? This, mm-hmm. you know, like make it like go along with the process, like drive it around as is, clean it up, of course. Right. But then as you're going and you're like, man, I like this, but I would like this better. And then mm-hmm. you kind of customize it around your needs and your wants and the comfortability that you want. Right. Because you may make something, but then you're living on it for a week and you're like, I don't 
like that. And you can just rip it out and start over. Yeah, but if it's already like that, you know, and you didn't do it yourself, you know, like if you use it as is mm-hmm. and you realize, oh, I like this table right here. Yeah. I like this table right here, but I don't like this table. <laughs> so then you take the table out and you make the table just right. exactly as it is. Right. You know, but. But a different table. Yeah. I, you, when you do enough, I've done a lot of restos. So when you do enough of them over mm-hmm. time, it's like. <laughs> Okay, you don't have to start from bare bones. <laughs> because when you start from bare bones, six years later... I see a lot of those, uh, those, school, those school buses. I see a lot of them that are mm-hmm. gutted on Marketplace. Yeah, they're, they like they started it, and then they're just like, project. And it says, you know, started this project five mm-hmm. years ago. Yep. And gave up. That was my bus. My Volkswagen bus was my first project. Yeah. And now I'm selling it. <laughs> but, you know, it was a really cool experience to have it but i didn't realize when i did buy it when i thought it was gonna die yeah um that it would not be practical in my life Mm -hmm. because it's air cooled i that's more of like short trips yeah like i need something that goes the long haul yeah overnight like that can get me from here to here you know and i know it's gonna make a cyber truck yeah cyber truck that sounds (laughs) well it's funny because i got a ford econoline which Mm -hmm. i did do that up until a certain point wait a minute can yeah. we go back to the fact you don't know what a Cybertruck is? Cybertruck is the Econoline. Is that what that is? No, it's about? Elon Musk's Cybertruck. Oh, no, I didn't know about that. Okay. Wait. It, it's ugly as fuck. I did not know about that. But that it is cool. bulletproof. It does. It looks like something very futuristic. Like. That's cool. Anyways, carry on. So right. you have an, a 40 Econoline. I don't even know what I, Oh, so He'll 40 pull, He's going to pull it up and show oh, you a Jesus. picture of it. Um, But uh, I don't even know what I was talking about. What was I talking about? You said he had a Ford uh, something. 40 kind of line. Yeah. I don't know where I was going with that. Uh, you said you don't need air cooled because you need something oh, yeah. for the so, long haul. Yeah, so it just wasn't, it's not practical. Mm-hmm. The VW breaks down every other drive. Like, that's, that's really cool. That's the cyber truck. I would like to build that. That looks like really cool. I probably can't, but. Well, you have to cool. buy it. It's them. all electric, yeah. but yeah. Yeah, no, I it's got no, a, a, no desire to build something. Like a wide wheel base. That's cool. But, um,. Yeah, it just it's like I said, it's just not practical. She's my baby, though, man. I love her. I got I got the engine rebuilt. I did. I put myself after the engine rebuilt. I put so much work into it mechanically. Yeah. Like I'm that that baby is mechanically sound. Like all she needs is rust repair, a little bit of body work, and interior. Ah, just throw some clear on it. Yeah. That's patina. But it's like for me, it's like oh, God. I just love her so much, and she can't just sit there. Yeah. You know, like she needs she needs loving. She needs to be driven. Yeah. And now here I am, two years later. I, st- I don't. I rarely drive it. So yeah. it's like it's just she needs to be driven. I can always go buy another one down the road if I really want to. Yeah. I'll start over, but you know, it's just is, one of those things. Is that things. the one that's not here? Or? Um. So, no the the VW bus. Uh-huh. Um. That one is in Virginia okay. as well. So I have tons of restos um but yeah i know it's bad um i have an addiction i love re- <laughs> i love restoring things but i finally made myself stop so i'm like what can you do with this <laughs> <laughs> got any bondo that can fix this yeah um no <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> i think you're great man you're yeah, great thank just, you just keep it just keep I'm it just good. i like the gray I like it's the all gray. jokes man yeah. it's all good i love good the fun. gray no you're good um <laughs> but yeah so huh I don't know where I was going with that again. Resto mods, you Resto have a ton mods. of them. Yes, I did. Oh my god, I remembered shit. Yeah, I did. Wow. I did have a ton, and now I'm I'm winding down. I got rid of the big ass fucking boat nightmare. Um, that was a whole nightmare, but that thing sank on me. Wow. So yeah, that was like a two year every day running the gun restoring that thing, and then it sank. And you put it in the water, and it just went right to the bottom. It it sank. It was it's so like, bad. it was like one of the worst days of my life. <laughs> I, I get a call. I'm like. A, a corner i'm like at a friend's house around the corner yeah and uh my boat neighbor calls me he's like christina your boat it's sinking and i'm like oh my god so i'm running it's pouring rain and i'm running 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 running, running into my boat and i'm I'm like Just, around so the, you could watch it sink and i'd see it sinking and it's uh. cap it's capsized it's on its side and my dumb ass jumps in the back of the boat goes into the main cabin and jumps into the water and tries to turn my bilge pump on, jumping into electrical. Like smart. I was so <laughs> stupid. Like thank God nothing like I was actually sparked off. Oh, so stupid. But I'm like on there and I'm like on my hands and knees and I'm realizing like how like how sunk it was. Yeah. And was I just dumb. sat there and I just looked around That's... and I just started crying hysterically. 
because I knew I was like, oh, this work was for nothing. I was so close. Like I saw the finish line and it was just done. It was dying in front of me. And meanwhile, my my best friend, she's in town and she's like in the back. She won't come in. (laughs) She's like not coming in. She's like, get the fuck out of the boat now. What are you doing, you idiot? And I'm like, no, I'm going down with my boat. Oh, Jesus. (laughs) And I won't, I will literally, I literally (laughs) won't get out. And like, meanwhile, her and two of my friends have buckets and they're like bucketing. Like, it's not going to fucking work. It's not going to do shit. And uh, yeah, I just cried and cried until finally. Somebody knocked some sense into me and got me out. But, yeah, Yeah. I was hysterical. It was bad. But the whole community gathered together, and they got bilge pumps, like big, huge bilge, like the pump things, the siphoning things. And they all rallied together, and they got got it above the waterline. So, I mean, we saved it, but the engines were done. Yeah. Like, once you get salt to that level and the engines ain't yeah they're eh. fucked I tried for like a year to bring the engines back was it a was it one of them like sailboat things so first boat I was on was a sailboat the next one was a um a 36 tri cabin cruiser with a uh, double uh god 256 engines I can't remember now Jesus so is that the one that sunk uh yeah that's the one that sunk Shit. Yeah, it was bad yeah, it was one of the worst days of my so life. So what was like? What was the, what was the goal with that boat? Like living on a boat? Would you like take it places? Like was that what you were wanting to do? Like um, so when I was transitioning out of the service because of my illness, mm-hmm. I I I ended up getting like medically revived or whatnot at one of the um, facilities I was at. It was a super stupid situation that happened, and I overdosed, mm-hmm. and it was not self induced. It was the medical staff that caused yeah. it. And it was Christmas morning, I think like 2018. So I almost Merry died. Christmas. And then when I realized, I was like, I just kept fucking having issues happening. I had heart I had, um, heart surgery, my illness, fucking that happened. It was just one thing after another. And I was just like, I was like, wow, I don't have much time left. Like, like, what did you fuckers do to yeah, me? Yeah, it's just fucking just one thing after it happened, right. like another. And I just was like, wow, I want to do all the things I've never done. Like, yeah. all of them. They so, say that happens a lot when people have, like, that yeah, near-death thing. It was, it fucked with me for a while. And uh, it still fucks with me. But it's not, it's for the good now. Yeah. But in that moment, I'm like, when I realized, like, what was happening in my life and how I, I really was like, I'm done soon. So I bought a Volkswagen bus. I always wanted one since I was a kid. Mm -hmm. I bought a big ass boat and I bought a motorcycle. And I bought all three of them for under $15,000. Oh, yeah. (laughs) So, which means they're probably shitty. But I didn't know. I didn't know shit about mechanic work at the time. I got a bike you can can buy 500 bucks. (laughs) Right? It's all yours. There you go. You like the resto shit. It needs some restoing. Dude, I'm not, not, now's not the time. (laughs) I'm like, I got other shit to do. But uh, yeah, my friends were like, don't do it. Stop. You need to stop. I'm like, okay. So, um, but yeah, now I just bought those three things and they changed my life. Like I learned so much mm-hmm. from these three things. And the goal in the moment was, yeah. okay, re- restore all of them, make them all livable, or at least not the motorcycle, the other two. But I was like, I want to live, I want to have the boat be like my my place of rest. That's like your home base. Yeah, my home base. And then the the bus be where I travel around and and either take pictures or just travel. Yeah. And I was just going to do it every three months. I was going to switch homes. Yeah. And I could, what was cool about the boat is I could, I wasn't like, it's still, it had, it was roots, but it wasn't roots because you could You're still. You're not landlocked. Yeah. You, you could, could still somewhere. move it yeah, marina yeah. to marina. So I was like, cool. I'll be land sea, land sea. Because you're a mermaid. Yeah, exactly. I'm a mermaid. Yeah. But you know, it, it just, it just fucking didn't happen. Like every fucking day, like something shitty happened. And I'm like, this sucks. Like life isn't going like I wanted it. And well, I didn't know anything about mechanic work at the time. So when like, you become a big famous reporter, <laughs> um, and you'll be able to buy your boat, I, I, which I will then go on your boat, but I will never jump out of your airplane. I'll get a houseboat. That would be cool. If I ever do a boat again, it's gonna be a houseboat. You ever do you like watching like HGTV, like those house shows where they reno the houses and shit? I used to, but now I'm just such a spaz. Like, I mean, I've always been a spaz, but I don't really sit down and like watch anything anymore. Uh, like, I, I love, listen to podcasts. I like, fucking love uh, Chip and Joanna Gaines, like the uh, Fixer Upper. That's the show. It's called Fixer Upper. Oh, that and they, sounds nice. They did a, a houseboat. This guy with him and his two kids. He's like, I don't want a house. I want a, I want a fucking <laughs> houseboat. So they did this fucking that's cool, beautiful houseboat. Like a two-story houseboat, you know, it's super cool. Well, the way to do it is, like I said, if because it has outboard motors, mm-hmm. you know, so it's like if the if the outboard motor craps the sh- or like if it 
crap's a shit, and you just just go buy another one. You right, know? right. It's like whatever, you know. You just reattach it. You yeah, know? it's not this fucking nightmare. More invasive Mine with were the inboard. Inboard. Yeah, <laughs> it was this whole thing, and they're huge. Yeah, it was Chevy Chrysler engines, I think. God, I can't remember. But yeah, it's a sh- it was a shit show. Mm. It was such a shit show. But uh, yeah, those those days are behind me. <laughs> At least for now. Well, for now. <laughs> Now. That dream's still on the table somewhere. Yeah. You're tired. I'm getting tired. Are you getting tired? Yeah, I'm getting a little tired. Oh, no, I'm, 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 I was born tired. <laughs> I know. I got I, my uh, one of my mentors just gave me this yesterday. That's cool. What it's kind a of, it's a Garmin. That? I don't know, Fent, Fentix or something. And nice. he's a good dude. And uh, I'll say it looks kind of like a Sunto. But he bit. is helping me figure out like what my metrics are. And so last night I, I wore it, and uh, it uh, it taught me that I don't sleep. <laughs> No? <laughs> and I'm like, man, but he says it's normal. Mm-hmm. I only had four hours of deep sleep. Okay. And the rest was light. Yeah, there apparently there's like three stages of sleep. And yeah. they're all important to have, but that deep, deep sleep is the is like the one you need, the rest. Yeah. But yeah. I I, I skip all of those other ones and just go right to the I pass the fuck out. I pass out. Yeah. I sleep hard. Yeah, I, I don't probably know. need a CPAP. It's okay. It's but, not. You know. It's it's not. It's actually more common than you think. It's not hot though. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want it if it's not fucking. I'll die before I wear that shit. It's okay. Anyways, it's not sexy. I don't want it. Well, if uh, if you're getting sleepy, sleepy, you might have to be going to Tampa, Tampa. To, uh, yeah, we'll see. You gonna drive tonight? Yeah, I'm going to drive tonight. Oh, shit. Fuck. If I wake up in the morning and her car is sitting out in the far, fucking... I mean, it wouldn't pole. be the, f- the first time I haven't done something like that. cooking eggs and bacon out yeah, there. Yeah, like, uh, you want to yeah. come in for some breakfast or what? <laughs> yeah. Um, But uh, we'll go ahead and start wrapping it then. All right. How's that sound? This has been nice, Because we can literally talk for hours. Oh, I've got a million stories, yeah. and you obviously do, too. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but I don't know if you'll have me back. I'll come back one day. Of course. Day. Uh, of like course. It. You have yeah, an open cool, invitation man. to come back. Please do. This was, this was nice. Thank you. I'm glad you came on. Yeah, I'll probably get a taller chair next time, though, so a I can like, really chair. lean back. I have arthritis in my neck, so I like want to kick back. Okay. You want you can kick back in that chair. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, you don't want to kick back. <laughs> no, you're good. I'm okay. No, I'm, it's fine. Yeah, I got a plate in my neck, so I'll get a neck pillow. Oh, okay, comfy we'll, neck pillow. <laughs> yeah, we'll just ha- we'll sh- we'll hang a, a, a like a, a rope from the ceiling and just put it around your neck. Do you so. have a neck? In your- <laughs> Wait a minute! Wait a minute! No, Wait. that's not. Wait, what? <laughs> and then we're and done. on that note. <laughs> and that we're hey, done. Chris Rulo, go follow her. Give him your socials. Gypsy G Y P. S E A Soldier S O L D I E R. Boom. Instagram. Boom. TikTok. Same thing, but with a little underscore between the two words. Yeah. If that you made have, any sense. Yeah, you have. Yeah, you have to put that <laughs> fucking underscore. Uh, please go follow her. Check out all of her things and uh, support Miss Gypsy Ru- uh I almost called you Gypsy Rulo. Gypsy Rulo. Chris Rulo, Gypsy Soldier, uh, spelled S E A. Took me a minute to figure that out. But, uh, and then go check out my shit too, maybe. I don't know. You yeah, know, check uh, him out. Yeah, you know, just check my thing out. You know, don't forget the audio will be available, you know, whenever the fuck I put it up there. But there's a bunch of other audio up there. So wherever you get your podcasts, go check it out. The Grey Beard Podcast. And uh, that's it, man. Peace out. Bye. Say bye. Appreciate it. This was fun. Boom. Thank you. Very cool.